Chapter 1221. Ha ha ha, my daughter, Pamela, of course. The reporter asked her, as a senior, do you have anything to say to young celebrities these days? Oh, I do. I just want to tell those young children that people have to rely on their own efforts to fight for what they want and achieve their dreams. Never, never think of taking shortcuts. I've heard before that some celebrities, especially female celebrities, are willing to use their bodies to please big directors in order to obtain resources. I especially don't advocate such behavior. Honor and achievements that aren't established by oneself will eventually collapse. I hope such young women will take better care of themselves. As soon as Simona said this, the media reporters recorded it all. When she said things like that, she didn't give the impression of being arrogant. Instead, she sounded patient and magnanimous as if she was genuinely worried that young women would take the wrong path and be doomed. Her tone was kind and especially gentle. Besides, her personal resume was already filled with glory from when she was young. She even obtained positions in Hollywood and the Film Association in Averna when she was older. Hence, there was no problem at all with her saying this. The reporters quickly posted her statement. There was nothing wrong with that. However, someone quickly took the lead and said, Our Kinsey is not the kind of person that Simona is talking about. She relied on her own efforts to get her resources. The matter with director Camilla the last time has already been clarified. Why are you still holding on to it? I curse people like you to die a horrible death. Those who criticize Kinsey will all die. On the surface, these words were to protect Kinsey, but they were simply making Kinsey a target. In an instant, Kinsey was pushed to the forefront. It had to be said that criticizing anti-fans was really a useful method. It immediately caused many people to denounce Kinsey's fans. Kinsey's diehard fans, listen up. Back when Simona was filming, your idol was still in diapers. Don't think that just anyone can be scolded by you. Crazy fans are really getting worse. They're full of shit. The idol stinks, and the fans stink even more. Stupid fans, go home and grow a brain. Remember to bring it out when you leave the house. Kinsey's fans naturally wouldn't allow such a reputation to be attached to them. They immediately counterattacked to protect their reputation. Soon, this caused a huge battle between fans and anti-fans. Originally, nothing should have happened, and Simona's words did not refer to anyone. After such a big battle, everyone seemed to understand that Simona's statement was directed at Kinsey. Needless to say, this batch of anti-fans was hired by Pamela. For the time being, she could not defame the other members of the Hunt family but could defame Kinsey. Taking advantage of her mother's return, she successfully criticized Kinsey. When Simona returned home and saw the news on the internet, she smiled. Your team is not bad. They're quite fast to make a move. Mom, you spoke all the right words. Otherwise, how could we have a reason to attack Kinsey? Chapter 1222. Simona laughed out loud. Her words were not meant to warn the younger generation. When she spoke, she went straight for Kinsey. Who asked Kinsey to make Pamela suffer at the banquet the last time? Since Patricia wanted to protect Kinsey, she had to make a move on Kinsey. If she succeeded Bay, it would be equivalent to slapping Patricia in the face. With this incident, although it was not enough to destroy Kinsey's reputation, it definitely wouldn't help Kinsey with the selection for the political film. After all, there were too many actors to choose from. There were also many capable actors. If Kinsey was dealt a blow at this critical moment, wouldn't she become the first to be eliminated? As Simona had hoped, there was a huge disagreement among the political film's production crew. With Kinsey's acting skills, she had already passed the preliminaries and entered the semi-finals. However, the sudden scandal claimed that Kinsey had slept with the director to get her previous role. In that case, wouldn't it be a humiliation to the political film that represented the entire country if the production crew chose Kinsey? Casting assistant director A was extremely fond of Kinsey. He tried his best to vouch for her. Kinsey is not that kind of person. I've interacted with her in private. It's absolutely impossible for her to use that kind of method to gain resources. Besides, how outstanding was her performance during the audition previously?
She's clearly so beautiful, but when she changed her clothes, she had the gentleness and determination of a primary school teacher. Her tone was exactly the same as my primary school teacher. Casting director B disagreed. Kinsey's acting skills are good, but it's not like there aren't any actors with good acting skills. We have better choices, so why waste them on an uncertain factor like Kinsey? What if her fans are still fighting when the movie is released? How can we guarantee that the sentiments are properly conveyed by the movie? I don't think there's anything wrong with Director B's concerns, said casting director C. There can't be any mistakes or problems with our casting. We absolutely can't let someone with a stained past contaminate our otherwise clean and pure creative environment. Casting director D was a woman. She thought for a moment and said, I think we should give Kinsey another chance. Apart from the second audition, isn't there a final audition too? If she can pass the heavy screening and stand out from the rest, why don't we give her a chance? As a woman, Director D had been treated unfairly in the workplace, so she knew that when it came to women, all it took to be stepped on was getting slut-shamed. As a woman, she empathized with Kinsey's plight. Seeing that Director D had already said so, everyone decided to give Kinsey a chance. Director B said, then I'll say this first. No matter how capable Kinsey is, if such a scandal continues, we shouldn't be blamed for being rude. There are so many of us. We can't be implicated because of her, right? They all nodded in agreement. As the vice president of the film association, Simona was especially clear about the progress and process of this casting. She knew that what she said would definitely work. She just had to wait and see. If Kinsey was dropped from this movie, her reputation would only continue to fall. With Simona's talent and years of experience in the industry, it was a given that Pamela would enter the final selection. Chapter 1223. In Kingping Media Company, Hazel was so angry that her face turned red. Simona is an old senior, yet she actually said such irresponsible words. Hazel knocked on the table. Now is the critical moment when Kinsey is in the midst of auditioning. With such a scandal, although we've already suppressed the news, how can it not affect Kinsey? Terry was also filled with anger. That's right. Simona hasn't been back for many years. Who knows why she did such a thing the moment she returned. Even if it's for her daughter's sake, it's too much for her to do this to Kinsey. She and Pamela shouldn't ever fall into my hands, or I won't be nice. If he found any dirt on the mother and daughter, Terry would definitely get revenge. Hazel said, I've already called the production team several times, wanting to invite director Zhao to come and talk about this matter. But at this critical moment, he refused to agree and doesn't want to be involved in scandals. Manager Thomas, I might need you to speak up for Kinsey. I've already found someone. After the incident, Terry had already gone around to make peace. As long as the director of the production team believed in Kinsey, the dirt the outside world thought they had on Kinsey would mean nothing. When the announcement was made that Kinsey had been selected, the scandal would die off. Unfortunately, the production crew was avoiding suspicion now. Coupled with the fact that they were part of Simona's connections, Terry's work was progressing very difficult. A whole day had passed, but there was still no progress. He called Ethan, but Ethan didn't make anything clear, so Terry couldn't rush him. He and Hazel were in a terrible fix. Hazel didn't want Kinsey to worry, so she asked her to go home and rest. After all, for Kinsey, acting was her main focus. Comma. On Simona's side, she attended an event. As an artist who had recently been tied to the name Kinsey, she was very eye-catching. The reporters couldn't help but ask her about the matter. Simona, may I ask if the words you said to warn the young were meant for Kinsey? Not really. But young people who behave like that do have to look at themselves in the mirror. I want young people to be down to earth and look at the big picture. That way, they'll do better in the future. Her answer was flawless, but it secretly pointed at Kinsey. Another reporter asked her again, so what would you do if you found artists who behaved in such a way? I'll boycott her and hope she never shows her face in public again. Idol influences children too much. I don't want the younger generation to be influenced by an idol's bad behavior. Simona's words were reasonable and won a round of applause. Parents were moved to tears. 
Simona's words had undoubtedly hit the nail on the head. These parents had grown up watching Simona's movies when they were young. Now, they were deeply proud of her. As expected of my idol. What she said is wise. What right do those young people have to be liked by so many people? My idol is still worthy of respect. Sure enough, strange animals like humans were only willing to hear what they believed in. The things they liked were justified, while the things others liked were shit. Chapter 1224. These words were published by the media under Pamela and Pamela. Senior publicly criticized Kinsey for her misconduct. A queen-level movie celebrity suggested banning low-quality idols like Kinsey and providing teenagers a good influence. Kinsey has been criticized by the Film Association. Her future is bleak. The Film Association is calling for Kinsey to be banned. Her bad behavior as an idol will affect the growth of the younger generation. One had to admit that it was a brilliant move. Simona's words were evasive but watertight. On a legal level, Simona and the media outlets that reported on it had all avoided risks. Hence, no one could catch them. And all of this had put Kinsey in a tight spot. This had a profound impact on Kinsey's audition for the movie. The anti-fans were even more excited than anyone else. Even a great senior said so. How many more days can Kinsey last? This kind of female artist who relies on her body to climb up the ranks should quickly disappear. Kinsey's competitors also took this opportunity to hire anti-fans and launch another wave of unscrupulous hate comments. As for Kinsey's fans, they read the comments every day and tried their best to protect her. They still believed in their idol. Kinsey was very touched. She entered the group chat a few times and told everyone that she was fine at the moment. Everything was fine. She would definitely repay everyone's kindness with results. With Kinsey's words, the fans felt at ease. They knew that Kinsey was invincible. Sooner or later, this dirty stain on Kinsey's reputation would be washed away. Comma. Kinsey took part in the casting audition. Perhaps because the malice of the outside world had struck something in her, Kinsey's performance in the second audition stunned the directors who were responsible for the casting. It was as if she were not a female artist but a female volunteer teacher. She stood directly in front of them. After this selection, the directors did not know what to say for a moment. Was it out of respect for an actor's basic professional ethics, or was it in reference to the groundless gossip on the internet? The four casting directors fell into another round of wild discussion. This time, the executive director had sat behind them and seen Kinsey's second audition. Kinsey's performance was breathtaking. Even the executive director felt that missing out on Kinsey would be the biggest loss for this movie. However, her scandal was also something that the executive director had to consider. A political film was a film that would show the culture of the nation. It would be shown to all young people. He would not tolerate a flaw that could be avoided. Comma. The movie wish that Cyrus had invested in starred Gracie and Donna. They had already decided on the schedule, but it was suddenly rejected. The release date had to be changed. Cyrus was dumbfounded. But Simona knew the reason. We've caused so much trouble for Kinsey. How can Hunt Group not retaliate? It seems that Patricia is indeed not easy to deal with. She also firmly believed that Patricia's son was not capable. All of this was done by Patricia. In fact, when she reached out to deal with Kinsey, Ethan didn't stay idle. Since Cyrus wanted to occupy Averna's market so much, Ethan would not even allow his movie to be screened. Cyrus said, Mom, you have to help me with this. You have connections in the film association, so everyone will definitely give you face. Chapter 1225. Of course, Simona said confidently. Back when she was establishing contacts in Hollywood, she had never given up on maintaining her contacts in Averna. Besides, she had been a popular movie queen back then. She had known that sooner or later, she would have to fight her way back. Patricia's ability was not enough to block her path. She was fully prepared for this battle with Hunt Group. Comma. Guests gathered at the Film Association's banquet. They were all tycoons of the entertainment industry in Averna and people like Simona who had positions or connections in the Film Association. Simona walked among the crowd, chatting happily with everyone. However, at the mention of Cyrus's wish being released, those who could speak up shook their heads. 
I'm really sorry, but I can't help. There's nothing we can do. Everyone was very polite and respected Simona very much. However, when it came to the problem that she really wanted to solve, everyone expressed that they couldn't help her. Simona had not expected this to happen. Could Patricia's power really reach so far? Simona held her wine glass and lowered her head in deep thought. The wife of a tycoon who had a good relationship with her years ago said to her, perhaps you should look for that person over there. Simona looked up and saw a young man standing there. He was tall and slender. He was surrounded by others as he stood in the middle of the crowd. His temperament was outstanding, and his face was somewhat similar to Peter's. Who's that? She asked automatically. Who else could it be? He's the one in charge of the Hunt family now. Only then did Simona understand that it was Ethan. Ethan was a low-key person and had never allowed any photos or interviews of him to be posted online. In Simona's heart, he had always been the useless kid that Peter had told her about. Hence, Simona had never taken him seriously. She had never thought that he could compete with Cyrus. However, when she saw Ethan now, she couldn't help but doubt her own thoughts. Was this Ethan? Patricia's son. Instinctively, she did not want to believe that fact. Just then, someone else came to talk to her. Simona's attention was pulled back. Someone mentioned Kinsey. President Hopkins, you've always been strict with newcomers. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about Kinsey. I hope you can support the other newcomers. There was a reason why this person mentioned Kinsey. It just so happened that there was an artist in the company he was working with who had been competing with Kinsey for resources recently. If he took advantage of the situation and expressed his disapproval toward Kinsey as well, it would be very beneficial to him. It's our duty to help the younger generation. However, an artist like Kinsey has a bad character. I won't show mercy to such a newcomer. Simona still insisted on her point. She was just saying it. It wouldn't leave an impact. However, she did seem a little reckless. President Hopkins, have you witnessed Kinsey's bad behavior for yourself? Ethan raised his voice and said calmly with a dignified tone. Everyone saw him walking over with his wine glass and made way for him. When Simona saw that he had taken the initiative to come over, she smiled. No, but there's no such thing as an impenetrable wall. I always hear rumors about her. Chapter 1226 so it turns out that President Hopkins doesn't judge a person based on what she sees but based on the rumors she hears from elsewhere. Ethan's tone was mocking. No one had expected this either. Previously, Simona had sworn that Kinsey was immoral. They thought that she had seen Kinsey do scandalous things herself, but in the end, Simona had just come to the conclusion after hearing rumors. As for Ethan defending Kinsey, everyone felt that it was normal. After all, Kinsey was an artist under Hunt Group. Simona wasn't in a hurry. She smiled and said, some rumors are spread by people in the industry, so they are naturally credible. I've been in the United States for a long time, and I've heard some things about Camilla. There was some truth in her words. For a moment, no one knew whether to believe her or question her. Ethan said, well, it just so happens that director Camilla is known to sue those who slander him. President Hopkins, since you're so confident, I hope you can testify with this same confidence in court. Simona. Simona said, really? Then let's hope he wins the case. Some people really need to be taught a lesson. She didn't expect Ethan to be so stubborn as to bring up Camilla's lawsuit. She smiled. In her words and expression, she seemed to be pretending that what she had just said had never happened. She knew the rules of the entertainment industry very well. As long as there was no evidence left behind, it was fine as long as she did not admit to anything. When the time came, she would claim that it was a misunderstanding and brush it off. At the same time, she could also gain some popularity. It was perfect. She was used to being tactful, but Ethan couldn't be bothered to waste his breath on her. I won't miss the lesson, then. Ethan turned around and left. Even though everyone was of high status, they were still stunned by Ethan's response and watched him leave in awe. On the other hand, Simona did not look too good after being humiliated by Ethan in front of everyone. However, she recovered quickly and her expression immediately improved. She continued to greet everyone. 
After this incident, Simona felt that Ethan was not easy to deal with. A. For the sake of Cyrus' movie, Simona took a step back. She hired a middleman and asked him to help her pass a message to Ethan. If Ethan agreed to stop causing trouble for Wish and let Wish be released directly, then she would stop slandering Kinsey in public. This was the biggest concession that Simona thought she could make. Ethan, who had received the news, found it funny and ignored it. Seeing that Ethan was silent, Simona asked the middleman to send another message. Ethan directly replied to the middleman, do the artists under Hunt Group require her judgment? The middleman understood what he meant. With Hunt Group's ability, why would they need to reconcile with Simona? Moreover, Simona had such a high and mighty attitude. Seeing that there was no response, Simona personally came to meet the middleman. The middleman, who was also a highly respected old man, grimaced. I've delivered the message and said what I had to say. But, President Hopkins, I think this matter may not be so easily resolved. I am here to solve the problem with sincerity, said Simona. Could it be that he really doesn't care about the reputation of his artists? Besides, I know that Kinsey has been fighting for a good opportunity recently. If I don't let her go, will she really get that opportunity if her reputation continues to be so bad? Chapter 1227 The old man actually knew Ethan's ability very well. From the looks of it, Simona still had a misunderstanding about Ethan's ability. He already knew that it was useless to say anything else, so he said, I really can't help you with this matter. President Hopkins, you should find someone else. As the old man turned to leave, Simona gripped the glass tightly. Her nails, covered in red nail polish, reflected blood red on the glass. She refused to believe she couldn't handle something so trivial. Comma. Simona used all her connections. After asking around for many days, she finally obtained an opportunity for Cyrus. As long as the contents of Wish attained the right qualification, it could still be released. However, it had been a long time since the initial release date. Moreover, no one could say for sure what it would take for the content to pass. But the situation was better than before. Simona urged Cyrus, during this period of time, keep an eye on this project. You must modify the content as soon as possible, do you understand? I know, mom. Both mother and son knew very well that the release of this movie was not just a matter of whether it could make money or not. If the box office sales were even better than Camilla's mother, then this would be an official sign that they had defeated Ethan. Simona and Peter had been working hard to prove themselves their entire lives. How could they miss such a good opportunity? Moreover, since Ethan refused to make a deal with Simona, Simona's slander against Kinsey naturally couldn't be stopped. It was all because she was popular and had the right to speak in the industry. She was not called the movie queen for nothing. Comma. The film association held its annual celebrity meet. As the vice president, Simona was naturally the first to get an admission ticket. She and Pamela attended together. She had retired for many years, but she had developed well in Hollywood. She was a top star in the hearts of many people back then. Previously, many rumors said that she married a foreigner and had children. Not only did these doubts not reduce her popularity, but they also increased her popularity. As soon as Simona appeared with her daughter, she was surrounded by reporters. No one expected Simona's daughter to look Asian. Not only that, but she was even more beautiful than Simona. Everyone went forward to take photos. The reporters even asked, President Hopkins, will Pamela follow you back to China to develop? President Hopkins, I heard that Miss Pamela is about to participate in Averna's political film. Is that true? President Hopkins, can Miss Pamela talk to us more about her future plans? Simona looked at everything in front of her with satisfaction and said with a smile, actually, it's not just Pamela. My son, Cyrus, is currently investing in a movie. The movie he invested in, Wish, will be released soon. I hope everyone will pay more attention to it. President Hopkins, you're really successful. She has two children and is so capable. Many people would never dream of it. Simona is indeed the idol of the older generation. She handled her career, love, and family well. Her life is perfect.
It's really impressive. Simona smiled reservedly and walked down the red carpet with Pamela. Another reporter asked, President Hopkins, Kinsey will also be participating in today's event. I wonder if you'll talk about anything after you meet. Chapter 1228. Speaking of that, I might tell Kinsey that young people should work hard. Simona's words were light and sounded like encouragement from an elder. But in fact, those who knew a lot of inside information knew that Simona looked down on Kinsey. Thanks to the fact that the internet was not developed in the early years, there was no dirt on Simona back then. The fact that she was a mistress was not known to the public. She was also a best actress and had a very good reputation. Therefore, what she said was undoubtedly a heavy bomb to Kinsey, worsening her reputation. The reporters at the scene wished they could dig out more information, but Simona only said a little every time. She refused to say anything else, so no one could ask further. The people assigned to follow Kinsey did not manage to capture anything each time. For a moment, there was a lot of clamor surrounding Kinsey's scandal. Although there was no substantial evidence, it still made people's imaginations run wild. The reporters were all waiting for Kinsey to come over later. After she met Simona, they wondered what kind of large-scale battle would take place. After Simona and Pamela went in, the reporter's attention shifted to the other artists. All kinds of artists appeared one after another. The reporters couldn't care less about Simona and Kinsey for now and were busy interviewing other artists. There were a lot of celebrities who came to the scene that night, and they were all very popular celebrities in Averna. The reporters, gazes shifted slightly. Pamela and Simona held hands and sat in the front row. The mother and daughter were in high spirits and had smiles on their faces. A small group of reporters wanted to have an exclusive interview with them after the event, so they followed them and surrounded them to continue chatting. As they were talking, there was a faint noise from the red carpet. It was even louder than when the other big-name artists appeared. It made one turn around to see what was going on. Even the reporters surrounding Simona and Pamela looked over in unison, wanting to see what was going on. They all stood up and looked toward the red carpet, their footsteps moving in that direction. This made Simona and Pamela curious. What had happened over there that attracted so much attention? The pair of mother and daughter stood up. They saw Kinsey dressed in red and Camilla in a suit walking hand in hand at the end of the red carpet. Kinsey was already fair, and the red evening gown made her skin look even fairer and more beautiful. She already had an advantage in height, so she was even more eye-catching. Camilla was wearing a black suit. Although he was of medium height, he had an outstanding temperament. When he appeared with Kinsey, he did not look out of place. The reporters surged forward like madmen. Recently, with the help of Simona, the scandal between Kinsey and Camilla had become known to everyone. Originally, the reporters were already paying attention to this matter, but they had never captured anything. Unexpectedly, Kinsey and Camilla came together tonight. This made everyone excited as though they were on steroids. As the reporters rushed over, they said, hurry up and take photos. Kinsey is too beautiful tonight, isn't she? Judging from Kinsey and Camilla's frankness, it doesn't seem like there's any scandal between them. Besides, we didn't manage to capture anything thus far. Chapter 1229. But Simona is the vice president of the film association and the movie queen of the past. She wouldn't slander a young junior, right? Whatever. Let's take photos first. We've already got the headlines for tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Let's not miss the headlines tonight. Kinsey's matter has been the most popular recently. Simona and Pamela heard everything. The other reporters probably had the same thoughts. They couldn't wait to go to Kinsey so that they could get more photos and news. Pamela originally thought that with her mother's appearance today, their names would be all over the headlines. The competition between artists nowadays was especially fierce. Many media outlets would choose the most popular artist of the night to post about so that they could hike up the traffic. The other popular artists could only play supporting roles. Unless the artist paid for a feature. However, Pamela did not allocate the budget for this tonight. After all, Simona had been really popular recently. The mother-daughter pair was also a hot topic. She snorted. I really didn't expect Kinsey to be so shameless. 
For the sake of traffic, she didn't avoid suspicion at all and actually appeared with Camilla. Simona nodded and said, that's right. I really underestimated her self-esteem. It turns out that the artists under Hunt Group are just so-so. Look at her. Not only is she not ashamed of this matter, but she's also proud of it. It's really disgusting, Pamela commented in a low voice. Simona looked in Kinsey's direction. Kinsey was indeed like a fish in water on this occasion. She came hand in hand with Camilla and spoke with confidence. She faced the reporters with poise. She was indeed a natural star. She was born to do this. Simona guessed that Kinsey was also well versed in the rules of survival in this circle. Nothing was more important than popularity. As long as she was shameless, she could obtain popularity. As long as she clung to Camilla, she could obtain resources. What was there to be afraid of? She had really underestimated Kinsey. Pamela maintained a smile on the surface, but she despised Kinsey in her heart. Simona tilted her head and said to her with a smile, since Kinsey doesn't care about her reputation, she can forget about getting a role in the political movie this time. Pamela's smile became real as she thought to herself, indeed, that political movie pays a lot of attention to the character of the artist and their past history. Since Kinsey is in a hurry to confirm her scandal, she basically took the initiative to give up that opportunity. As for me, I've already received the notice to participate. Kinsey is indeed too forward-thinking. On the red carpet, Kinsey and Camilla walked over together. Originally, every star who walked down the red carpet had a relatively fixed time. For example, if it was a minute, then everyone who appeared would only have a minute. However, as the reporters were too enthusiastic, Kinsey and Camilla had been surrounded on the red carpet for more than three minutes. It was only when the host smiled and helped them out that Kinsey and Camilla were saved from being surrounded by reporters. They finally walked to the front of the stage. Kinsey's popularity was obvious. When Kinsey and Camilla came to the front of the stage, the host would interview them briefly. The reporters would also throw out two or three questions to interact with them. Then, the artists would leave the stage and sit down. The host smiled and said, Kinsey, I really didn't expect you to appear with director Camilla. Chapter 1230. Director Camilla and I are partners and friends. It's normal for us to appear together, right? Kinsey said with a smile. Of course, the host said. We're glad to have you here. Director Camilla, you even came from afar. We're honored. The reporters also seized the opportunity to ask, Kinsey, there have been quite a lot of rumors about you and director Camilla recently. I wonder if you're prepared to face such rumors today. Kinsey smiled and said, I don't know what the rumors about me and director Camilla are or where they came from. In order to dig up more news, the reporter said, there's a senior present here today who spread this news. Everyone admired the courage of the reporter who spoke. He did not hesitate to openly provoke conflict. However, this was the profession of a reporter. They always had to make some big news. Besides, this opportunity was so rare today. As soon as the reporter asked the question, everyone subconsciously looked at Simona. Simona stuck out her chest and raised her head, looking fearless and open. She had indeed said something, but she knew that she had said nothing wrong. She didn't believe that the rumors about Kinsey and Camilla were groundless. Did Kinsey dare to confront her on the spot? Seeing Simona like this, everyone couldn't help but worry for Kinsey. Simona was an early movie queen and had a vice president position in Hollywood and Avernus Film Association. Although Kinsey had also achieved good results, she was only a rising star. Compared to Simona, Kinsey was really lacking. Besides, how could Kinsey clarify the scandal? Perhaps because they had a natural sense of closeness to good-looking people, the reporters were a little worried for Kinsey. It was troublesome to get involved in scandals, and it was really not a wise move to openly confront a senior. However, some of the reporters were flushed with excitement because it seemed that they would be able to get their hands on exciting news. No matter how Kinsey responded, the outcome that awaited her was big news to the reporters. Kinsey's expression did not change at all. She looked at Simona and said with a smile, so, it's a respected senior. However, I really didn't expect you to have the time to care about my personal matters. I truly didn't expect this. 
I thought you were busy improving your personal abilities and guiding your juniors to do more meaningful things. As soon as she said this, she slapped Simona in the face by implying that she was not doing her job and was no different from a gossipy woman. The reporters waiting for the news were all shocked. Kinsey was too bold. They only wanted a headline, but Kinsey directly gave them an explosive piece of news. Everyone kept pressing the shutter to capture the scene of Kinsey being straightforward. Kinsey actually didn't have any special feelings for a mistress like Simona. If others wanted to be a mistress, she couldn't stop them, right? She had no intention of defending Patricia. That was between the main wife and the mistress. Her heart ached for Ethan. Because of this scumbag father and mistress, Ethan suffered a lot since he was young. Now, this mistress actually wanted to publicly humiliate his company and his artists. Who gave this mistress the courage? Did she ask for Kinsey's permission? Chapter 1231 Simona looked at Kinsey without anger. She sat steadily with a proper smile on her face and maintained the demeanor of a senior. She knew in her heart that the more publicly Kinsey mocked her, the worse she would lose and the more public opinion would be against her. She was proficient in manipulating reporters and fans. After all, Kinsey was still too young and would definitely fall into her trap. Go ahead and curse. It would be best if Kinsey scolded her as fiercely as possible so that Simona could gain more benefits. Sure enough, as Simona had expected, Kinsey continued, I know that most of the seniors are still talented, but there are indeed some who are not good enough to interfere with someone's career. The entertainment industry is indeed a place of fame and fortune. Everyone's life is being watched by many eyes, and there are all kinds of rumors. Some people who don't know our circle will think that this industry is especially messy and dirty, but we ourselves know that this is just a place where we work. It's a place where we make a living. Apart from the fact that there is indeed a small portion of dirt and chaos, most people are still working seriously to support their families and realize their dreams. We're just working hard to move forward. These words made many artists below the stage empathize with her. Everyone was afraid of certain comments from the outside world. There were also many cases of the entertainment industry being demonized. When this industry was mentioned, others would talk about how terrible it was. It was as if everyone here was promiscuous and practiced those unspoken rules. There were a lot of such phenomena in this circle, but it would be a great injustice to others who were serious and hardworking to assume it was always the case. Therefore, after Kinsey finished speaking, someone took the lead and applauded. Then, everyone gradually joined in on the applause. The claps resounded throughout the entire event venue. Although this applause did not mean anything, it was no different from slapping Simona in the face. This was because everyone could tell that these words were first directed at Simona, then the others. When the applause stopped, Kinsey said, Our working environment has already been demonized, yet some seniors are taking the initiative to plant more scandals in our circle. I wonder what their intentions are. We're all adults with rational thinking. I hope everyone can think about the logic behind this. Simona's expression did not change. She even wanted to give Kinsey a thumbs up. Although Kinsey's words made sense, she did not clarify the scandal at all. What was the use of just talking about logic? After the news came out, wouldn't they still blame everything on Kinsey? Young people were still too impulsive. Pamela tilted her head and said to Simona softly, Mom, it seems that Ethan is just so-so. His artists don't have any sense of crisis at all. They only care about their own happiness, but they don't know what kind of waves they will cause tomorrow. That's right. No wonder King Ping Media Company has been relying on the Hunt Group for so many years. It's just an ordinary second-rate entertainment company, said Simona. The reason why King Ping Media was only a second-rate entertainment company and didn't become a top entertainment company was that Patricia didn't like this company back then. Ethan and Ronald hadn't really invested in it either. However, Simona did not understand this logic. Chapter 1232 After Kinsey finished speaking, the reporters were in an uproar for a while before asking, so, all the rumors were spread with ulterior motives. This time, Kinsey didn't answer. The man who took the microphone was Camilla. The host was supposed to control the entire process and not let Kinsey and Camilla be asked so many questions. 
However, the situation was too intense. Even the host himself wanted to know how the situation would develop. Of course, she had no way of controlling the situation now. Everyone wanted to continue to know where this was going. Fortunately, the organizer also said to the host, it doesn't matter if they take longer. Let Kinsey speak. The organizers also knew that only when there was something explosive would there be popularity. Since Kinsey wanted to stand out, it was normal for them to make use of her. It had been a long time since such an explosive event had happened in the entertainment industry. Tonight, the entire event would definitely become the most influential event of the year. After Camilla took the microphone, the reporter immediately asked, Mr. Camilla, are you going to clarify the scandal on behalf of Kinsey? What do you think of the rumors about you? Camilla was well versed in the language and culture of Averna. He did not need a translator to understand the reporter's words. He could even answer the reporter's questions himself. Holding the microphone, he smiled and said, Here, I ask all reporters to address me as Ms. Camilla and not Mr. Camilla. Her words caused an uproar. Camilla is female, but they always said she was a man. No one ever contradicted that. What's going on? Is there something else going on? I heard something, but did I hear correctly? Mr. Camilla, no, M's Camilla, can you tell us what's going on? It was the host who was more tactful. He immediately took control of the situation and steered the conversation in the normal direction. Camilla always wore a small mask over the bottom half of her face that hid half her features. However, the rest of her body was relatively masculine. Her eyebrows were thick, and the corners of her jaw were sharply angled. Hence, no one had ever questioned her identity. However, she had now admitted that she was a woman. Apart from being curious, everyone wanted to know the details. Camilla smiled and said, Everyone, when I was working in Europe, I always had short hair. Back then, everyone called me Mr. Camilla. For safety and convenience, I didn't object or clarify. Years have passed since then. The outside world has gotten used to thinking of me as a man, but I'm still a woman. It's the gender I was born with. If you don't believe me, you can check my credentials and look for the relevant authorities to authenticate this fact. So director Camilla really is female. I really didn't expect this. Then the rumors about her and Kinsey can be considered to have collapsed, right? That's the last thing I expected. It's unpredictable. I suppose there's just pure friendship between her and Kinsey. You don't say. Actually, the two would make quite a good pair. Director Camilla's facial features are quite good. Chapter 1233. After all, the identity of a director was not as popular as that of an artist. There were not many opportunities for Camilla to come to Averna. Therefore, the reporters in Averna had never questioned her gender before, let alone explored it. The host also said nimbly, so in fact, many rumors and prejudices can't be trusted. Today, director Camilla stood in front of us with short hair and spoke with a slightly lower voice. Just because of that, we've been treating her as a man and have never questioned this for so many years. However, in fact, sometimes what you see might not necessarily be true. It's easier to believe what you hear. The matter with director Camilla tells us even more about this. Those rumors about Kinsey are probably also nothing. The host was indeed a host. Initially, she was on Simona's side, but now, seeing that the public opinion would turn to Kinsey's side, her response immediately changed. Of course, the production team also had such intentions. No one was willing to go against the public. The reporters still had a bunch of questions for Camilla and Kinsey. They all rushed toward them with long microphones. Kinsey held the microphone and smiled brightly. The host is right. What the eyes see is not necessarily true, and it's even more so for what the ears hear. I don't know why that particular senior insisted on saying such things as if she had seen with her own eyes that there's a shameful relationship between me and director Camilla. What we have is just friendship. I think that as juniors, we should respect our seniors, because every path we take now was forged by their hard work and experience. Our glory also has its share of their sweat. We'll inherit excellence, discard the dross, and strive to do better. But what about some seniors? Shouldn't they be good examples for their juniors? They shouldn't casually believe in rumors and spread them. 
Can't they wipe their eyes and see more facts clearly? Moreover, shouldn't they sincerely apologize for their mistake of deceiving the public? Kinsey's words clearly pointed to Simona, who was sitting below the stage. At this moment, Simona was indeed not as calm as before. She had indeed never expected Camilla to be a woman. The fact that Camilla dared to say that in public meant there had to be evidence. The move had caught her off guard. If she spread rumors about a woman and a woman, it would essentially cause public dissatisfaction. And Kinsey was getting more and more aggressive. Simona kept smiling but said nothing. Kinsey's smile widened. Some so-called insiders dared to talk about director Camilla's private matters without even knowing her gender. Everyone is very smart, so I hope we won't be misled in the future. Kinsey had said everything she needed to say, and the reporters returned with a full load. Kinsey and Camilla held hands and sat in the front row not far from Simona and Pamela. Simona was still smiling, but because she was too angry, her fingers were trembling. Pamela squeezed her mother's fingers and barely calmed her down. Simona wasn't in the mood for the rest of the event. In the second half of the show, she went to the bathroom and stayed there for a while. She reapplied her makeup before returning to the public eye. Chapter 1234 After the event, Kinsey and Camilla graciously accepted some more interviews before leaving together. When they came out, Kinsey smiled and said, Director Camilla, it's all thanks to you this time. I'm clearing things up for myself as well. Am I supposed to stand by and watch my reputation go up in flames? Camilla said with a grin. When she clarified her identity, Kinsey realized that although her voice was low, it was still a little different from a man's. It was just a rare female voice. It was obvious how much people relied on what their eyes saw when forming conclusions. They completely reversed a person's gender just because of some inherent characteristics. If you hadn't contacted me, I really wouldn't have been able to fight back against Simona. This time, it's all thanks to you. Camilla smiled. No harm done. You said it yourself. We're friends, aren't we? Kinsey smiled. Then I'll treat it as a mutual favor between friends. Until next time, then. Nodding, Camilla turned and disappeared into the night. Kinsey got into the nanny van. With Hazel's calm personality, she couldn't help but pat her chest. Fortunately, we had a trump card. That's why this matter was resolved so smoothly. It's just that I didn't expect her to be a woman. Did you know before this? I didn't know either. Kinsey shook her head. She had only guessed. She did not expect Camilla to take the initiative to help clarify. Hazel reached out to tidy up Kinsey's clothes and said, All right, go back and wash up, then have a good sleep. It seems that the entire public opinion tonight will be aimed at Simona. The nanny van sent Kinsey to the apartment she lived in. Hazel glanced at the apartment and said, the place you live in isn't very safe. I've suggested a few times to manager Thomas to move you elsewhere, but I don't know what's wrong with manager Thomas. He keeps refusing. He's really stingy. No, 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 sister Hazel. I'm fine living here. Don't make me move. You know I dislike being inconvenienced the most. Kinsey quickly made a begging gesture. As for manager Thomas, would he dare to let her live somewhere else? Wouldn't he be cut to death? Hazel smiled and said, okay, okay. I'll try to give you more subsidies next time. I'll give you two more bodyguards, okay. That's pretty good. Thank you, sister Hazel. After getting out of the car, Kinsey went straight home. Ethan was still making some changes to this neighborhood. Although there were still other residents in the building where Kinsey lived, they had slowly been relocated to other buildings. Because the building where Kinsey lived was in the innermost part of the neighborhood, the various passageways had been changed to lead directly to the building. Hence, privacy and safety were practically guaranteed. Kinsey had lived here for so long, but she had never been recognized or harassed. The safety of the two munchkins could also be guaranteed. Kinsey went straight to her place. Ethan came down to fetch her with the two munchkins. Sam immediately ran over when he saw Kinsey. He hugged her legs and climbed up like a little monkey. Kinsey scooped him up and kissed him a few times before asking, why aren't you asleep? I couldn't sleep when pretty Kinsey wasn't home, the kid said matter-of-factly. 
Chapter 1235. Okay, then I'll sleep with you. Kinsey took Joshua's hand. With the two munchkins on her left and right, there was no spot for Ethan. He could only follow behind the three of them. After going back and making arrangements for the two munchkins to sleep, Kinsey finally had time to change her clothes. The fact that Camilla is a woman was sensational tonight. A lot of people were shocked. She removed her makeup while looking in the mirror. Behind her, Ethan helped her pull down the long zipper of her red gown. The zipper was unzipped, and the skin that was exposed was smooth and delicate. It was fair, pure, and flawless. The man's throat moved slightly, and he didn't hear what Kinsey was saying at all. His mind was no longer on those things either. Actually, I had a vague feeling that something was up with Camilla before. I just didn't expect it to be so explosive. Kinsey felt a slight chill on her back and the sting of his stubble. She bit her lip slightly. Did you hear what I said? Yes, you're talking about Camilla. Ethan kissed her back, his long fingers sliding over it. What did I say about Camilla? Kinsey continued, also a little distracted by him. Ethan reached out to help her change and picked her up. You're tired. You should wash up and sleep, okay? Kinsey was weightless in the air. She hooked her arms around his neck, and her head began to spin. She had completely forgotten about Camilla by now. Who cared about Camilla? What she felt at the moment mattered more. Comma. That night, the video of Kinsey berating Simona at the scene was uploaded. It quickly reached the top of the real-time hot search list, followed by a big red symbol that read, Explosive. The second on the list was, Camilla as a woman. During this period of time, Kinsey, who had been boycotted and mocked by Simona, had long become a hot topic. Kinsey's participation in various unspoken rules had also become a hot topic. Even the name Camilla was repeatedly mentioned. During this period, Kinsey and her team did not do any public relations. It was precisely because of this that the anti-fans and her loyal fans had fought many times. All kinds of comments flew everywhere. When everyone was at a loss, the video of Kinsey raging at Simona exploded. The effect was undoubtedly the greatest. It was like a volcanic eruption, detonating the firepower that everyone had been accumulating for a long time. The comments said everything. What did I say? Don't talk about things without evidence. So what if she's a senior? Can a senior casually gossip and spread rumors about others? Look at Simona. Doesn't she look like those old grannies on our streets who gossip? That face of hers is really hateful. To the commenter above, you forgot that Simona didn't say anything about Kinsey. Who asked Kinsey to rush to admit it? What did Simona do wrong? The person above, Simona didn't say anything about Kinsey. Should I send you the link to the video and let you take a good look at it? Simona was just short of pointing at Kinsey's nose and scolding her again and again. Kinsey just never responded. Simona was really energetic, huh? Kinsey really did a good job this time. It's only right that Kinsey scolds someone who likes to criticize others. I agree. Of course, Kinsey has the right to refute. Chapter 1236. I'm especially sympathetic to this kind of thing. There are always people around who take advantage of their age and impose their opinions and thoughts on others. If you don't do what they want, they'll blame you in all kinds of ways. A move like Simona's has caused me to feel both psychological and physical discomfort, hands up. Kinsey, well done. Other artists are clearly trying their best to protect this circle, but some people are so self-righteous that they want to jump out and slander their own circle. If it were me, I would also retort. Seriously, if director Camilla hadn't exposed that she was a woman, wouldn't Kinsey be unable to clear her name? Simona is really shameless. In this era, women like to make things difficult for other women. Many people have said that it's a pleasure to work with Kinsey. Kinsey's acting skills are also obvious, but a certain someone just had to attack her. It's really not easy for Kinsey. Fortunately, director Camilla is a woman. Otherwise, I don't know what Simona would have said. The host is right. What you see might not be true, and what you hear is even more false. Rumors come from such irresponsible people. That's right, that's right. She's even a vice president. She even hung out in Hollywood and was a movie queen back then. 
She didn't know that director Camilla was a woman, but she dared to say that she knew about her private life. How could she have the cheek to say that? Kinsey is so straightforward. Some seniors really owe the public an apology. I support little Kinsey. Little Kinsey is the best. I urge everyone to not believe in rumors, and definitely don't spread them. But when facing malicious rumors, don't be afraid. You must protect your interests openly. All the best. We'll always support Kinsey. The matter of Kinsey angering Simona caused a heated discussion on the internet. It was mainly because over the years, everyone valued their privacy and rights. Simona's previous actions had long reminded them of their relatives, friends, neighbors, and aunts. Now, this matter reminded them of the pain of being criticized by their elders and their arbitrary guesses. Therefore, they could empathize with Kinsey. Even if they were not fans, they still stood on Kinsey's side and took the initiative to speak up for her. Of course, Simona's fans were also putting up a struggle. For example, they said that Kinsey didn't know how to respect her seniors and was too aggressive and rude. They also railed against Camilla for being a liar and deliberately disguising her gender. She was clearly a woman, yet she used her male identity to attract fans and deceive everyone's feelings. However, they were scolded by even more netizens. Seniors who are worthy of respect should be respected, not the seniors who casually insult and slander others. I think Kinsey is quite polite. Simona went overboard previously, but she didn't say anything. Even a rabbit will bite when forced to. Is it reasonable for Kinsey to let others hit and scold her without retaliating? Why? Fans of Camilla were triggered as well. They didn't speak up when Camilla was slandered. They didn't think it was necessary. However, they were angry now as well. Chapter 1237. Now that such a thing had suddenly been exposed, they couldn't help but take the initiative to speak up. Director Camilla has never said that she was a man, and she was also very worried about her private life being exposed online. For so many years, apart from filming, she's been doing various activities that helped children and women. She never once relied on selling her persona. If it weren't for Simona deliberately misleading people, they wouldn't have bothered with her at all and she wouldn't have needed to expose her identity. You guys were the first to stir up trouble, yet you still think you're the reasonable ones, right? The first to stir problems is the problematic one. Simona and her fans, this refers to you. Comma. This chaotic battle naturally entered the eyes of the casting and directing team of the political movie. Previously, they had been hesitating about selecting Kinsey even though in terms of acting skills and image, Kinsey was definitely qualified to be selected. However, it was because of her scandal with Camilla that everyone was repeatedly unable to make a final decision. At this moment, everyone had seen the trending searches and read about the entire scandal. Even the fact that Camilla was a woman had been exposed. They could not help but feel ashamed of their previous thoughts. The female director in the casting team stood up at that moment. As a woman, she was better able to put herself in the other woman's shoes. She had experienced how difficult it was for a woman. Whether it was in the workplace or in the family, the slightest moral flaw could destroy a woman. And because of that, there were people who preferred to use moral standards to make demands from female artists and smear their names with such things. She was thrilled by Kinsey's retort. This was what she wanted. When one encountered injustice, one had to voice out and clarify it. One had to be brave enough to say no to the evil forces suppressing one's head no matter how domineering they were. Otherwise, one would have fewer and fewer opportunities to voice out. She suppressed her excitement and said, Everyone, are you convinced that there's no problem with Kinsey now? The other directors had already approved of Kinsey's ability right from the start. The only thing they were worried about was getting dragged down by her scandals. However, now that it was proven that Kinsey had been framed, everything was easier. The casting directors were respectable and talented people. They looked at each other and nodded at the same time. I'm fine with it. The executive director pushed open the door and said, Everyone, what do you think about Kinsey? I think we can proceed with her. I think so too. Ever since the director saw Kinsey's audition the last time, he had given her his approval. However, he had to respect his colleagues' opinions. 
Therefore, after seeing the clarification on the internet, he quickly confirmed the authenticity of the matter in the circle and confirmed that Camilla was indeed a woman. Hence, he immediately rushed over to ask everyone's opinion. The executive director smiled knowingly at everyone's answer. It seemed that everyone had been paying attention to this matter, so everyone knew how it had ended. Kinsey wouldn't be oppressed. Nor should Kinsey be oppressed. Comma. Simona was facing the biggest crisis in her life. She never expected trouble to come from her own mouth. It was true that she had not faced the fans' enthusiasm for many years, nor had she faced the fans' super combat power. She was being chewed out on the internet. Times had changed. It wasn't the same as it had been in her day when all reports could easily be artificially interfered with. Chapter 1238 Netizens nowadays had learned to look at things in many ways and wait for the final result after taking into consideration the strong evidence. Instead of becoming Simona's blade to stab Kinsey, they stabbed Simona instead. Seeing the insults on the internet, Simona's heart ached. It was too uncomfortable. She had been popular all her life and rarely suffered because of her beauty. Now, she was being insulted by so many unrelated people. It was far beyond her imagination. Pamela reached out and snatched her phone away. She put it aside and said, Mom, stop looking. These people have parents but they clearly didn't educate them. Why bother reading their comments and getting angry at them? Back in my time, who would argue with their seniors like this? They would have been scolded to death long ago, said Simona. Pamela said, Mom, I'll release the news that I'm participating in the political movie now. We'll be able to suppress this matter soon. I'm also making arrangements with Cyrus. We'll release news of his artists to reduce the traction of your news. Soon, no one will continue to pay attention to this matter. Go ahead, Simona said. She looked at the comments. She was indeed exhausted and didn't want to take another look. Pamela left quickly. Cyrus posted some news about his artists. Pamela also announced that she was going to participate in the political movie. This time, many people were paying attention to the political movie. Currently, the cast list was being released one name after another. As soon as the news of Pamela's participation in the political movie was released, it attracted a wave of attention. Everyone started discussing enthusiastically. Pamela's fans also began to speak up for Simona. In short, the effect Pamela wanted was achieved. The matter of Kinsey being angry at Simona was already discussed all night. The effect had already decreased, and now, all attention was on Pamela's news. When Pamela and Simona saw this result, their expressions finally relaxed a little. At this moment, the official Weibo account of the political movie posted a message while tagging Kinsey, Welcome, Miss Miller, to our big family. Let's make our own contributions and efforts to the cultural cause of Averna. Teacher Miller, please take care of us. The outside world had also been waiting for these announcements. It could be said that everyone was looking forward to learning who was joining the cast. Especially the artists themselves and their teams, they were all waiting for this. They also hoped to use this to enhance their status and advance their careers. Even Pamela valued this opportunity very much. While everyone was waiting, Kinsey silently obtained this opportunity. The artists themselves understood the importance of this role, and the fans even more so. As soon as the official Weibo results were out, Kinsey's fans erupted. Kinsey is mighty. We're proud of you. As an actress of the younger generation, Kinsey has worked hard in her acting career. She respects the seniors in the industry and is not afraid of power. Her deeds are worth learning from. Congratulations to actress Kinsey for winning the role. Congratulations, actress Kinsey. Congratulations, Kinsey. Therefore, the matter that had just died down surfaced again. What does this mean? It means that the official party knows that Kinsey was framed. They're clearing her name in this way. The eyes of the crowd are sharp. Everyone knows what kind of person Kinsey is. Let's not be afraid of rumors and move forward bravely. We'll always support you, dear Kinsey. Chapter 1239 If it weren't for the fact that the occasion is inappropriate, I'd really like to ship Kinsey and Camilla. Don't you think they make quite a sweet pair? I agree. They're indeed quite sweet.
A super invincible genius director and a talented and beautiful actress. It's quite a nice ship, isn't it? And look closely at director Camilla. Although she looks a little masculine, it's mainly because of her dressing and makeup. In fact, her facial features look quite good, and she's especially mature. Is anyone writing stories about this ship? I promise to tip, vote, and subscribe immediately. Please, writers. Speaking of which, I'm going to start cursing Simona again. I think Simona is jealous that Kinsey is young and beautiful, so she became an old witch. Simona tried her best to reduce the traction of her news, but Kinsey's official announcement brought it up again. The image of her as an old witch had now taken root. There were also some talented netizens who photoshopped her photo and made her look like an old witch. They made her into various stickers, and the words accompanying them were especially funny. If I say that you guys are having an affair, then you guys are having an affair. Women are nothing. You bow your head to those filthy and spoken rules. As these memes spread, Simona's matter became a foregone conclusion. All along, Simona had been very confident in her appearance and had taken particularly good care of herself. She would never admit defeat, nor would she admit that she was old. However, this time, as these memes became popular, her image in everyone's minds was closer to the wrinkled, dejected, sinister, and vicious appearance in the memes. It was no longer the perfect beautiful image she had been maintaining. Although Simona had thought of spending money to solve the problem, matters on the internet spread too quickly now. Moreover, everyone was passionate about creating their own works, so Simona had to continuously spend money. She finally realized that she was out of touch with the times. Comma. Patricia had also been paying attention to this matter. Seeing that Kinsey had won this battle, she couldn't help but smile. The nanny smiled and said, young madam is really quite good. She caused this woman to fail miserably. It seems that Kinsey knows how to strike at Simona's sore spot, Patricia said with a smile. Her mood lifted, and her complexion improved as well. When she walked downstairs, she saw old Madame Hunt talking to the family doctor about pregnancy. Patricia's heart skipped a beat. Was Kinsey pregnant again? Ronald had never interacted with women. The only possibility was Kinsey. However, when Patricia went over, old Madame Hunt kept quiet and the family doctor also left. Patricia asked with a smile, Mom, who's pregnant? No one. I was just asking, old Madame Hunt said. Of course, she was concerned about Gracie's pregnancy. Ever since Cyrus and Gracie told her that they were expecting, old Madame Hunt had been abnormally concerned. However, she couldn't tell Patricia about this. If she did, something would happen sooner or later. Seeing that she was being secretive, Patricia did not ask further. Not many in-laws could get along well with each other. It was the same for her and old Madame Hunt. On the surface, they were calm and harmonious, but they could not withstand any storms. Since old Madame Hunt did not say anything, she did not ask further. Chapter 1240 However, from the looks of old Madame Hunt, someone in the Hunt family was definitely pregnant. If Kinsey was really pregnant, Patricia couldn't ignore it. Kinsey had already given birth to Joshua and Sam. It was a big hurdle for a woman to give birth. As a woman, Patricia could understand the hardships. With that in mind, she called Kinsey. Kinsey was eating an apple while reading the script. After the official announcement of her participation in the movie, the entire script was quickly sent to her. Kinsey was thinking about her scenes. When she picked up the phone, Patricia said, Kinsey, has the diagnosis been confirmed? What diagnosis? About the child. You're pregnant, aren't you? Patricia asked bluntly. Kinsey was so shocked that she almost choked on an apple. I'm pregnant. Hearing her tone, Patricia was a little uncertain. Isn't it? Where did you hear that? I'm not planning on having another baby, and I certainly am not pregnant. As she spoke, Kinsey's phone was taken away. She turned around and saw that Ethan had returned. He must have heard what Kinsey said as soon as he returned. His eyebrows were furrowed as he was frowning. He took the phone and said to Patricia, Kinsey won't have another child. It's tough for a woman to get pregnant and deliver children. I'm sure you know this well, don't you? Kinsey lay on the bed with her face in her hands and looked at Ethan. 
The way he said such words was so charming. Patricia knew that Ethan had misunderstood and thought she was looking for Kinsey to ask her to give birth to another child. She said, that's not what I meant. I overheard your grandmother consulting the family doctor about pregnancy, so I thought that Kinsey was pregnant. That's why I called her. Ethan's brows relaxed, and his expression wasn't as tense. He said calmly, it's not Kinsey. That's good. With Joshua and Sam, what's there to be dissatisfied about? Patricia said. Okay. Ethan nodded and hung up. Still holding her face in her hands and smiling, she sat up when he looked at her. What did mom say? She said grandma was looking for the family doctor and talking about pregnancy. That's why she called. She has no intention of asking you to give birth again. That's good. Kinsey was relieved. Ethan looked relieved and gentle. He reached out and stroked her hair. We already have two sons. No matter what the family says, as long as we don't want to, no one can force us to have children. When facing Kinsey, he was gentle. His coldness was directed at those who were hostile to Kinsey. Kinsey tilted her head and said, but why did grandma consult the doctor about pregnancy for no reason? Could it be that Ronald's girlfriend is pregnant? He has to have a girlfriend for that to happen, Ethan said mercilessly. Kinsey burst out laughing. It was too cruel, but it was really too funny. She couldn't help it. Ronald's ears burned as he sneezed. Who was thinking of him? After laughing, Kinsey remembered. If Cyrus has a girlfriend, it must be Cyrus. No wonder Grandma wanted to give him her shares the last time. It turns out that his girlfriend has a child. In that case, everything makes sense. Ethan also remembered. You have a point. It should be him. Chapter 1241. Kinsey nodded vigorously. That's probably why Grandma didn't dare to tell Mom. That's why Mom guessed that I was pregnant. After thinking this through, Kinsey felt sorry for Patricia. To some older people, heirs were more important than anything else. Naturally, they were also more important than daughters-in-law without any blood ties. Therefore, old Madam Hunt would acknowledge Pamela and Cyrus. On account of Cyrus's child, she would also leave the shares to him. This kind of thinking was understandable, but it was really easy to be disappointed. Ethan saw the change in Kinsey's expression and could almost read her thoughts. He reached out and pulled her into his arms. We can't control other people's thoughts, but we can live the lives we want. Kinsey nodded gently. Yes. Cyrus's official girlfriend was Gracie, so the person who was pregnant must be Gracie. At the thought of this innocent child being used as a pawn to fight for the family fortune before it was even born, Kinsey pitied this child. The next day, when Kinsey attended an event, Donna also appeared. When Donna saw Kinsey, her eyes were filled with arrogance. Kinsey saw that she had been driven here in a super luxury car. It looked like Donna had also hooked up with someone. Donna walked past Kinsey. She was dressed meticulously with a pair of exquisite flat heels. Luna said, I don't know what she's so proud of. Gracie didn't even bring her along when she filmed commercials and TV shows. She really thinks of herself as a famous artist. If it weren't for her deception back then, who would have given her those resources? Is Gracie still shooting advertisements? Yes, when I went to help Sister Hazel deliver the information yesterday, I saw her hanging on a wire, Luna said. Kinsey thought of Cyrus. Since Gracie was already pregnant, she should stay at home to recuperate. After all, she was Cyrus's biggest chess piece. However, not only did Gracie not rest, but she even hung on wires. Was she taking the pregnancy so lightly? What other activities does she have recently? Luna quickly scrolled through her phone. She said, she'll be filming for a sports variety show and a movie. It's a martial arts movie. It's very exciting. It's the work of a big director known for his martial arts movies. Everyone said that the movie this time will be very popular. Kinsey was a little puzzled. Gracie was pregnant. Even if she didn't rest now, she should be working less. However, she had accepted a sports variety show and a martial arts movie. Could it be that she had looked for a surrogate? Originally, Gracie's matter had nothing to do with Kinsey. If it were any other time, Kinsey would not have bothered. But it was different now. Cyrus's family had bullied her husband. Kinsey would not sit by and do nothing. 
She suddenly recalled that Donna was wearing flat shoes just now. With Donna's usual style, she would never wear flat shoes on such an occasion. Donna usually dolled herself up no matter the occasion. Could it be that the pregnant one was Donna and not Gracie? If this was true, Kinsey really wanted to say from the bottom of her heart, this circle is so messy. Chapter 1242. Kinsey was about to go on stage when the makeup artist came over to help her with her makeup. She put aside her thoughts for a moment. Luna said, I'll get you something to drink. Usually, before going on stage, Kinsey would drink a little water to wet her throat so that she could answer various questions from the host and reporters. She got her makeup done while waiting for Luna to return. But when she was done, Luna was still not back. She took out her phone and called Luna. Luna, where are you? I'll be right back. Luna sounded different from usual. Kinsey frowned slightly. Soon, Luna came back with a glass of water, but her eyes were red. Kinsey raised an eyebrow at her. What happened? Um, when I went backstage, I met my friend. She's doing logistics here. When I was accompanying her, she gave Donna a cup of coffee. Donna threw the coffee in her face, and it scalded her. I wanted to find some medicine, but Donna refused to let my friend go. She even pressed her head down to make her apologize. Now, my friend needs to apply medicine to her facial injuries. What should I do? Luna sounded especially aggrieved. We didn't know that Donna didn't drink coffee. According to previous arrangements, she's always given coffee. Kinsey was furious. What's wrong with her? Where's your friend? She's still with Donna, Luna said with a crying face. Let's go. I'll take a look. Forget it, Kinsey. You still have an event later. There's no need to provoke Donna. Besides, she's now with Golden Media. She has someone backing her up. The relevant units in this event are all supporting her. I'll go find a friend to help first. Luna was afraid that her matter would cause trouble for Kinsey. Kinsey didn't want to talk to Donna today, but who knew that Donna was getting more and more arrogant? She said, I'll just take a quick look. Am I no longer your friend? Seeing that Kinsey had already strode over, Luna had no choice but to follow her. The word, friend, almost made her cry. Donna's status was far inferior to Kinsey's, but she got the largest and most luxurious dressing room. At this moment, the supervisor was apologizing to her and saying things to flatter her. Beside him stood a timid girl. She must be Luna's friend. Donna had a proud expression and looked like she couldn't be bothered. Previously, in the entertainment industry, she had always maintained her generous and kind reputation. She had suppressed herself for so long that she almost went crazy. Coupled with the fact that she now had nothing to do with Hunt Group, she could not be bothered to change her negative image anymore. She simply let herself go and ordered people around. No matter what the supervisor said, she did not relent. Ever since she was pregnant with this child, Cyrus started treating her like a treasure. If not for the fact that the organizer of this event was related to Cyrus, she would not even want to come to this event and would just rest at home. However, she could get money by participating in this event and avoid Gracie's eyes and ears. She had no reason to refuse. Cyrus arranged for someone to pick her up and accompany her. The level of hospitality she enjoyed here was of the highest standard. It was extremely luxurious, which resulted in Donna's arrogant attitude. Chapter 1243. She was pregnant now. According to the doctor's advice, she had to minimize her coffee intake for the sake of the baby's health. Who knew that the staff member who delivered the drinks would bring a cup of Americano to her? Was she trying to kill her? Get out. You're annoying. Donna waved her hand and couldn't be bothered to listen to the supervisor's chatter. Miss Gray, you have to forgive our work mistakes before we dare to go out. Please be magnanimous. Donna glanced at the girl standing nearby and said, forgive. Where do I start? Do I have to pay for every mistake you guys make? When Donna was at King Ping Media Company, she was suppressed by Kinsey. When she was with Golden Media, she was suppressed by Gracie. Fortunately, Cyrus was not an abstinent man. She finally had a chance to be with Cyrus, unlike when she was at King Ping Media Company where she waited for a few years without getting a chance. And she was so lucky to have Cyrus's child. 
Initially, she was worried that Cyrus would not want this child. Unexpectedly, with just a little probing, Cyrus happily accepted this child. Not only did he obey her, but he also promised her that he would give her and her son wealth. Immediately after, Cyrus gave her a luxurious car and mansion. He promised to give her a status in the future. However, Gracie could not know about all this for the time being. Donna understood that the Thompson family was big and powerful. Gracie and Cyrus were well matched in terms of social status. As for her, she was still a little lacking, so she could only endure it for now and wait for Cyrus to settle his relationship with Gracie. However, she also found it difficult to calm down. Why did she have to give in just because her family background was inferior? It was hard to calm down. She vented all her anger on the people around her. At this moment, she was still angry. The supervisor wanted her to forgive them. HMPH, how could that be possible? The supervisor waved at the girl. Catherine, why don't you come over and apologize to Miss Gray? Catherine Fox shuffled her feet. She was indignant and scared. She didn't dare go forward. She seemed to be cowering. At that moment, the dressing room door opened. The supervisor and Donna looked toward the door at the same time. Kinsey appeared at the door with her usual bright smile. I didn't expect you to really be here, Donna. Donna asked, what are you doing here? No matter what, we're colleagues. It shouldn't be a problem to visit you, right? Kinsey walked straight to Catherine. Luna hurriedly ran over and held Catherine's hand. Catherine's face was scalded by the coffee earlier, but Donna had dragged her away and she had yet to apply the medicine. Now, she looked like she had blisters. It was really unbearable to watch. Donna ignored Kinsey and said nothing. Kinsey said, by the way, I wanted to ask you what my friend did wrong that you're still holding her hostage and refusing to let her leave. Seeing that Kinsey was about to stand up for Catherine, Donna said, can't you see the situation? As long as she apologizes, I'll let her leave. But she refuses to apologize. Actually, Catherine had already apologized at the beginning, but Donna still refused to let go. Now, Catherine was just angry and afraid. Hence, she had long stopped apologizing. Kinsey said calmly, then what did Catherine do wrong? Chapter 1244. Donna glanced at her. Isn't it wrong to not do your job? So she didn't do her job by bringing you coffee. Donna, I remember that you've always had coffee before. Your fans must know that you've said many times in public that you like Americano, right? What Catherine poured just now was the coffee you like. Is there anything wrong with that? Kinsey asked. Donna. She really had little reason to argue. Because of her pregnancy, she could not let anyone else know, especially Gracie. Therefore, she could not tell everyone that she could not drink coffee. She was being unreasonable. The coffee she brought was so hot it almost burned the tip of my tongue. Isn't that a mistake? Then why did you throw it in her face when you knew it was too hot? Besides, this dressing room is the farthest away from the coffee room. Even if the hot coffee was brought over, it wouldn't be especially hot. Could it be that Catherine brought the boiling water over and made you coffee at your door? Kinsey asked. Donna. Kinsey smiled and said, or do you want me to publish this incident and let everyone be the judge of it? This is an internal matter. Why do you want to publicize it? Donna was annoyed. Forget it. I can't be bothered to argue with public opinion. Leave. Apologize and pay for the medical fees, then we'll leave. Kinsey refused to let it go. You. Kinsey said, what? Look at this little girl's face. How badly is she scalded? Maybe we really have to go through other procedures. Donna was carrying a child in her stomach, after all. This child was extremely important to her. It would be fine if the outside world knew, but if Gracie knew, she did not dare to think about the consequences. If she had a conflict with Kinsey and something happened to the child, she couldn't bear the consequences. The supervisor didn't want to waste time with her and didn't dare to. But judging from Kinsey's attitude, she was determined to waste time with Donna. Donna apologized reluctantly. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Little Hilton, transfer them a sum of money. After getting her apology and the money, Kinsey turned around and left. Luna cried as she applied medicine for Catherine. 
Her face was already starting to blister, and she wondered if it would leave scars. Kinsey gave them the money. Luna, take your friend to the hospital first. Catherine looked at Kinsey gratefully. Luna's eyes were also red. Kinsey, hurry up and go on stage. We'll handle it. The supervisor didn't expect that Kinsey would be the one to resolve this matter in the end. He watched Kinsey go on stage and sighed. Why is the difference between people so big? Catherine, I'll give you a few days off. Go back and recuperate first. Don't blame me for not speaking up for you just now. There are indeed some people we can't afford to offend. Catherine nodded. I know, supervisor. You did your best. The supervisor sighed. It's not like I haven't thought of publicizing the matter for outsiders to judge, but no matter how reasonable you are, can you beat a female artist and her tens of thousands of fans? Forget it, forget it. Go back and rest. Catherine felt terrible, but she also knew that what the supervisor said was reality. How could an ordinary staff member compare to a female celebrity no matter how many supporters they received? Chapter 1245. What Kinsey had done to help her was already the ultimate help. After Luna returned from the hospital, Kinsey had already finished attending the event and returned backstage to remove her makeup. My friend is fine. The doctor said she went over in time, so there'll only be shallow scars. Thank you, Kinsey. Kinsey said to her, find an anonymous phone number and tell Gracie that Donna is pregnant. Luna was confused. Donna was pregnant. Why would they tell Gracie? Kinsey explained simply, it's a disaster to let someone like Donna run around. Let the people who should deal with her do it. Luna was grateful. Kinsey, thank you for helping my friend get rid of this woman. I'm not doing this for your friend but for myself, Kinsey said with a faint smile. As for how Gracie would handle it, it was none of her business. If Donna had been more low-key and normal, Kinsey would not have used such an extreme method to expose her secrets. Comma. Donna had a child, and even Pamela liked her. They had met twice in private. Pamela was about to smoke in private. She glanced at Donna and put away her cigarette. Rest well and take care of the baby. The Hunt family won't mistreat you. When Gracie received the news, she was extremely shocked. But now that she was sober, she knew it was only natural. She was born into a wealthy family and was used to seeing all kinds of scandals. When she was with Cyrus, she did not harbor any thoughts of growing old together with him. Between them, it was more about mutual benefits. Moreover, they were not married. This was also the reason why she had never been willing to get pregnant before. Once a woman got pregnant, even though she could become rich because of her child or even rise to the top like Simona, she would have already lost her autonomy. She never wanted that to happen. Therefore, even after Cyrus lied to old Madame Hunt about having a child for the sake of the family assets, she did not intend to have a child with Cyrus. However, she never expected Cyrus to get Donna pregnant so quickly. Go and find out what's going on, Gracie said to her manager. Soon, she saw the photo of Cyrus secretly entering Donna's residence and Donna's pregnancy test. Donna's house and luxury car were both given to her by Cyrus. Gracie gripped her phone, and the expression on her face began to change like the veins on her hand. No wonder Donna had not come to look for her for a long time recently. It was one thing not to have confidence in Cyrus's future, but it was another thing to get her things stolen. The manager persuaded, Gracie, don't tell Mr. Hunt about this. Sometimes, men value children, but women can't reach that level. If you tell him, you won't be able to go back to him. Of course, I know that. Gracie gritted her teeth and said, in fact, I don't mind who he has children with. She had seen this sort of thing often enough in her own home. She just couldn't accept that the person who was pregnant now was Donna, who had been following her around and flattering her. It was a feeling of betrayal. But it's also impossible to let Donna give birth to the child, Donna's agent said. Otherwise. Chapter 1246. She did not continue. However, Gracie understood what she meant. Otherwise, Donna would rise to power because of her son, just like Simona back then. Even if she had the support of the Thompson family, how could she stop other women from deliberately causing trouble? 
I know. A plan had already flashed through Gracie's mind. At this moment, Donna was with Cyrus. Cyrus took this child very seriously. He would visit Donna almost every day. Just based on the matter of having a child, he had already obtained all the shares from old Madam Hunt. What if the child was really born? When the time came, would old Master Hunt be tempted to give him what he had? Cyrus had been taught by Simona since he was young that children were very important. Otherwise, Simona would not have been able to completely tie Peter down with the two children. Of course, children were only one aspect. Other means had to follow. But for now, the birth of this child was the most important thing. Donna was wheedling with him. Touch my belly. The child is kicking me. Ha ha, it must be a naughty son. Cyrus laughed. Definitely. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so cheeky. But I'm a little worried, Donna lowered her eyes and whispered. I know. I'll convince Gracie. She was afraid of pain and pregnancy before, so I didn't force her. Now that we already have a child, didn't everything work out in the end? Cyrus said matter-of-factly. Donna saw that his plan was to let Gracie raise the child and knew that he had never really considered her. She could not help but feel sad. However, she didn't show any of this on her face. Instead, she said sensibly, that's perfect. In any case, I don't want anything. I'm not fighting for anything. As long as you have me in your heart, that's enough. I knew you were the best. Take this card and buy whatever you want. Work less these days. Cyrus felt comfortable being flattered. He was confident in his charm. He believed everything Donna said. After Cyrus left, Donna received a call from Gracie inviting her over as a guest. Although Donna was a little hesitant, she still agreed. She thought to herself that Gracie probably didn't know about her pregnancy yet. If she didn't go over, it would make her suspicious. Hence, after dressing up, she quickly went to Gracie's side. Gracie did not say much. She just had some afternoon tea with her and caught up with her. She then sent her out with a smile. Donna heaved a sigh of relief. It seemed that Gracie really did not notice anything. She slowly made her way downstairs. Just as she reached the underground parking lot, a large dog suddenly charged at her. It was ferocious. Donna screamed in fear and dodged, but this made the big dog even more aggressive. It jumped up and down, attacking and biting her. Ordinary people would find it difficult to deal with a crazy big dog, let alone a pregnant woman like Donna. Donna shouted for help, but coincidentally, the underground parking lot was almost empty. This position happened to be a surveillance blind spot as well. By the time the security guard realized what was happening and came over, Donna had been bitten badly and was covered in blood. Chapter 1247 The security guard was so frightened that he quickly called the police and an ambulance. Comma. Donna had a miscarriage. When Kinsey heard this news, it was from Luna. She was in a daze for a moment. She originally thought that Gracie would use a gentler method to target Donna. Unexpectedly, she used the most violent method. She mourned the child for a moment. Luna was very relieved. She and her friend had a lot of resentment toward Donna. Now that Donna was hospitalized, how could they not be happy? The news of Donna's admission to the hospital was strictly blocked by Golden Media. However, because Donna had reduced her workload a lot recently, it still attracted attention. The paparazzi were also trying their best to find out more about her. Donna had a miscarriage, and Cyrus rushed to the hospital anxiously. Donna's face was ashen as she cried and accused Gracie. Cyrus was a little annoyed. How can it be her? She doesn't even know about this. As she spoke, Gracie came in with something. Donna could only keep quiet. I'm really sorry, Donna. I really didn't expect that inviting you over for afternoon tea would cause such a huge commotion. If I had known, I wouldn't have invited you. That dog has already been taken away by the police. I heard that it's a dog that escaped from a dog farm and has been wandering outside for a period of time, so it has a fiery temper, Gracie said regretfully while apologizing and comforting her. Donna knew in her heart that Gracie was the one who did it, but she couldn't say anything. Cyrus did not believe Donna at all. Gracie said, Mr. Hunt, you can go ahead with your matters. I'll stay here and accompany Donna. 
Cyrus was very satisfied with Gracie's character. He was also a little tired of Donna pestering him and couldn't wait to leave. As soon as he left, there was nothing more to say between Donna and Gracie. Gracie said, rest well and try to get well soon. I'll pay for your medical fees first. Don't worry. Donna touched the scar on her face. Female celebrities relied on their face to survive, but now, hers was covered in scratches. The doctor said that she could not recover completely. How could she be any better? Everything she had was ruined. She hated it to the core, but even if she did, who would stand up for her? Gracie was in a particularly good mood after solving such a big problem quietly. As for Cyrus, he did not come again after this time. Donna's face was ruined. He felt uncomfortable just looking at her. Why would he come to suffer? Donna called him repeatedly, but he quickly blocked her. Donna could only call Pamela. Pamela soon appeared in the hospital. In Donna's hospital ward, she lit a cigarette and blew smoke rings as she pulled out a card. With Donna's child gone, she no longer had to restrain her desire to smoke in private. Take it. Cyrus is very busy. He can't come over. You were pregnant before, and it was very difficult for you. But now that the child is gone, we don't blame you. We can only blame ourselves for being unlucky. Pamela's face was shrouded in smoke. Donna sat on the bed like a dead person. This money is enough for you to spend for a while. This is the termination letter from Golden Media. Pamela left the card and settlement letter before putting out her cigarette and turning to leave. Chapter 1248 Donna gripped the termination letter so tightly that the paper was crumpled. This matter did not affect Cyrus at all. Old Madam Hunt also thought that the pregnant person was Gracie. To Cyrus, what he had lost was just a speck of dust that he had not even seen. The paparazzi had been to the hospital many times, but the information they obtained was limited. They only knew that Donna was injured, but they did not know what was going on. They could only keep hiding. Luna accompanied Catherine to the hospital to change her dressing. Catherine's face would also be scarred. She was in a bad mood, so she came to discuss with the doctor how to remove these scars. They had just come out when they bumped into Donna, who had been discharged from the hospital. There were many scars on her face. She looked hideous and terrifying. Startled, Luna and Catherine quickly stepped back. Luna knew from the grapevine that Donna had been scratched by a dog, but she never expected her to be so seriously injured. Donna gave them a vicious look, scaring Luna and Catherine away. After Luna sent Catherine off, she got into the car with lingering fear. Kinsey was reading a script. She was going the same way as Luna, so she came to the hospital with her and waited at the door. Seeing her panic, she asked, what happened? I saw Donna just now. She's so scary. Her face is badly scratched. She'll probably never be an artist again. Kinsey was about to speak when she suddenly saw Donna's figure flash past outside the window. Donna asked gloomily, Kinsey, did you tell Gracie about my pregnancy? Donna had thought about it for a long time, but she couldn't figure out where she'd gone wrong. Only Kinsey knew that she had stopped drinking coffee. It was hard to guarantee that it wouldn't be Kinsey. Kinsey got out of the car. Luna wanted to stop her, but she couldn't. Donna questioned, was it you? I'll be honest. It was me, Kinsey said. I don't regret what I did. I just feel sorry for that child. Donna lost control. Why? Why? Why did you want to harm me? Why? I admit that I gave Gracie the information. But when you question others about harming you, can you first ask how much harm you've caused others? Besides, do you think you can hide the matter between you and Cyrus from Gracie without telling her? Can you ensure that she won't find out later? I'm the one who told her, but that has nothing to do with your current outcome. I hope you can trace the source and think about why. Donna was stunned for a long time. Kinsey turned around and got into the car without looking at her again. After a long time, Donna sat on the ground and burst into tears. Kinsey did not feel relieved at all. After all, an innocent child was involved. However, it was not necessarily a bad thing that the child was gone now. The child's existence was just a pawn. Who in that family would truly love and cherish him? After Donna's incident, Kinsey quickly joined the crew to film the movie. 
Hazel reminded her, although there aren't many scenes, you mustn't neglect your role. The entire production team and the actors involved are basically big shots. Don't make any mistakes and give others a chance to gossip. It won't be too much even if you strive for perfection. If there's not enough time, I can reject some other activities for you. Chapter 1249. I know. You've sent me such reminders several times on WeChat. Kinsey smiled. Even if you become a top star, I still have to remind you a few times, Hazel said. Especially since Pamela is filming with you. It's not like it's just been a day or two since she and her mother started disliking you. You have to be careful. She nodded. Hazel smiled. I'll let Luna in. I have to give her more instructions. In fact, although Kinsey and Pamela were filming together, the two of them did not act together at all. They filmed separately, so they might not even meet throughout the entire filming process. Besides, even if they met, Kinsey didn't think she would be at a disadvantage. However, considering all the implications, Hazel took this matter very seriously. After Luna was brought in and lectured again, Hazel finally stopped. The next day, Kinsey joined the crew. Because the location of the shoot was in the city, she could still go home at night. This time, she didn't have to worry about traveling far from home to shoot. As soon as she entered the site, she heard that different people were filming in different studios. She wouldn't meet Pamela. Because the movie consisted of separate stories, several directors were filming it at the same time. That's pretty good, she said, nodding. She wanted to focus on shooting, not the constant catfight. However, even though she wanted to avoid Pamela, she couldn't stop her from running over. As the movie queen back then, Simona had a lot of connections. Many of these directors and assistant directors knew Simona and were even on good terms with her. Therefore, Pamela's identity was quite precious. It seemed reasonable for her to come to Kinsey's studio to greet the directors and assistant directors. She was so good with her words that the entire production team laughed along with her. Laughter could be heard. For a moment, it seemed that Kinsey's side was cold. Coincidentally, a reporter came to visit on this day and realized that Pamela had a good relationship with the people in the various groups. Moreover, they were family friends, which attracted a lot of praise from the media. Naturally, Pamela could only appear in many more articles than Kinsey. Those who didn't know better would think that Pamela was the absolute female lead of this movie. It had only been a few days since the filming of the movie started, but Pamela had already been on the list of hot searches several times. Her relationship with the various directors was also discussed enthusiastically. Kinsey was completely unknown. Pamela went to Kinsey's studio every day. After a few days, the other staff members also found out about Pamela and treated her generously. Even Pamela's assistant, chauffeur, and others were shown more respect. Kinsey didn't mind and continued filming her scenes as usual. A few young staff members came to play games with Kinsey on their phones. Kinsey, can you teach me how to do this? Kinsey, your previous games were so cool. I like you so much, do you know that? Joshua was the one who played the match previously, hence Kinsey felt ashamed to accept their praise. However, although she was lousy at gaming, having a son and husband who knew how to game was still a huge advantage. It was not a problem for her to spar with these staff members. Therefore, many people surrounded her. Even the extremely young actors in the group ran over to express that they wanted to play games with Kinsey. Chapter 1250. Kinsey successfully added them on WeChat. When Pamela came over again, she was going to invite the director to eat and drink some tea. Unexpectedly, she saw Kinsey holding her phone with everyone else. Her smile froze for a moment, and she snorted in disdain. It looks like she can't figure out any more tricks to hang out with those people. Who wants to please the staff when they can get close to the director? Thinking of this, she felt very happy. However, Kinsey was busy playing games. Although Pamela had put in a lot of effort, the directors were all elders. Even though they had preferences and were biased, they would not go overboard. Especially when Kinsey's performance really impressed them. Hence, Pamela's methods were useless. 
To put it bluntly, no matter how good her relationship with them was or how much effort she put into it, it would never be as good as Kinsey doing her job and saving everyone the trouble. Not bad, not bad. The director nodded repeatedly as Kinsey finished her performance. I think I can be in a better state. Can I try again? Kinsey asked politely. All right, everyone, get ready. Let's do this again. After the filming ended, the director was especially satisfied. Everyone ended work early. The filming had been ongoing for the past few days, and they often had to wrap up at almost midnight. Everyone was very excited to get off work on time today. Kinsey received a message from Ethan saying that he would come and pick her up. Kinsey let Luna leave in the nanny van while she ran to Ethan's location. During this period of time, everyone was quite busy. Although Kinsey went home every night, she sometimes could only chat for a while washing up before she fell asleep from exhaustion. Being able to spend time with Ethan made her eyes shine. After getting into the car, Ethan smiled and said, Joshua and Sam went to play with Ronald tonight. It's just the two of us. So where are we going to eat? Let's go home. I asked the nanny to prepare dinner before giving everyone the day off. Seeing Kinsey's expectant look, he tilted his head and smiled. I got them to prepare your favorite durians. Hearing that there were durians, Kinsey's eyes lit up. Ethan reached out and stroked her hair. Kinsey smiled until her eyes turned into crescents. When they got out of the car in the underground parking lot of the neighborhood, she hooked her arm around Ethan's neck and said, Hubby, you're the best. Am I usually bad? You're usually nice. But today, you're even better. Kinsey's eyes curved into crescents. Ethan couldn't help but kiss her. He quickly opened the door. After entering, he pressed Kinsey against the door and kissed her. Usually, there was Joshua and Sam at home. Ethan always had to be restrained. Today, the two little kids were not around, and the nanny was on vacation. There was no one at home, so Ethan's fanaticism was on full display. Just as they were kissing passionately, there was movement on the sofa. Kinsey woke up and looked over. When Ethan saw Patricia standing there, he immediately frowned. He calmed himself down, took off his jacket, and covered Kinsey with it. Only then did he hold her hand to steady her. Mom, what are you doing here? Patricia was also very embarrassed. She said, my friend gave me some good durians. I recall that Sam likes them, so I sent two over. When I came, the nanny was about to leave, so she opened the door for me. Chapter 1251. Because Kinsey was on the same side as her now and she knew that Pamela had been giving Kinsey a hard time recently, Patricia decided to visit Kinsey and ease their relationship. To her surprise, she saw this. It was nothing much, but it was indeed a little awkward. Kinsey's face was so red that she couldn't raise her head. Although they were officially husband and wife, she felt a little uncomfortable being seen like this. She quickly said, I thank you on Sam's behalf. I'll go and cut open the durians, then. She ran to the kitchen. Ethan rubbed his glabella. Patricia said, I'll leave first. Actually, I didn't see anything just now. Ethan didn't ask her to stay. After closing the door, he went to the kitchen. It was filled with the smell of durian. Kinsey was trying her best to break open a durian. Actually, she didn't want to eat it now, but it was quite awkward just now. Seeing Ethan come in, she forgot that he hated durians. She subconsciously stuffed a piece into his mouth and said, you eat it too. After stuffing it into his mouth, she remembered that Ethan didn't eat durians. She quickly went to his mouth and said, hurry up and spit it out. I'm really muddle-headed. It'll be a waste. Ethan's voice was low. He slipped the durian into her mouth and kissed her again. Um, where's mom? Kinsey asked in a muffled voice, her mouth filled with the fragrance of durian. She left. Focus. His big hand caressed her eyes and covered them. His lips were already by her ear, causing her to tremble slightly. Comma. Because the political movie was divided into a few short stories, Kinsey quickly finished filming. On that day, Pamela's filming was also completed. Pamela invited the entire crew for a meal. With her good relationship with them and her style of doing everything, she quickly became a trending topic because she got along well with the crew members. She was indeed the female lead of a political drama. Her fans were also proud of this. 
they flooded the web and praised her for her beauty and generosity. Pamela, who had surpassed Kinsey, became one of the most popular artists that month. At this moment, the paparazzi who had gone to dig up information on Donna revealed a lot of information about her admission to the hospital. The paparazzi had taken many photos and videos of Donna back then. They just didn't know what had happened to her and didn't expose her. Now, it turned out that Donna was previously hospitalized because she was pregnant. It was said that she was pregnant with the child of a rich man. Later, Donna was suspected to have been schemed against by the rich man's wife, causing Donna to miscarry. Now, not only was the child gone, but her career was also ruined. This was shocking news. The paparazzi had contacted Golden Media to sell this information, but Golden Media did not accept it at all. Donna was no longer their artist, so why would they still spend money to protect her? Moon Breeze news had always attracted lots of attention. Soon, Donna's matter became a trending topic. Various videos and photos were also revealed. Donna's incident attracted a lot of attention. I didn't expect that Donna, who had developed well in King Ping Media Company back then, would end up like this. I guess it's fate. Tisk tisk tisk. What a pity. Donna is still quite beautiful. What's there to pity? What kind of outcome would you expect from being a mistress? Mistresses don't deserve any pity, dog head. Chapter 1252. Ha 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 ha, I'm dying of laughter because of the comment of the person above me. It's indeed retribution. Donna's fans are crying. I really don't know what to say. Let's just disperse. Because Donna had already been terminated by Golden Media and her management team was disbanded, there was no one to handle public relations for her. The comments she got were very real. She had not appeared in public for a long time, and her fans were not strong enough to fight. It took a long time for this trending topic to die down. This matter did not make much difference to Donna, who had already hit rock bottom. It could not affect her anymore. However, someone found Pamela in the video and photos. This was very normal. After all, Cyrus was the boss of Golden Media. There was nothing wrong with Pamela visiting Donna and having a personal relationship with her. But the problem was that Pamela was seen smoking in the photos and videos. Smoking was prohibited indoors and in public throughout Sea City. The rule was stipulated earlier on, and everyone knew about it. Moreover, Pamela was in a hospital, a place where smoking was clearly prohibited. This matter quickly caused an uproar. Besides, the entire country was relatively conservative. There were very few women who smoked. Most women were averse to smoking, even if it was secondhand smoking. From the way Pamela held her cigarette in the video, it was obvious that she smoked a lot. Soon, this matter was taken seriously by netizens. Even if you're a celebrity, you can't have special privileges. Smoking is prohibited, and everyone has a shared social responsibility. Why can Pamela smoke? I think so too. Especially for female artists. How could they smoke? Come, come, come. I'm reading about the no smoking law in Sea City. When it was issued three years ago, it was clearly stated that no citizens were allowed to smoke in public or indoors. If they wanted to smoke, they had to go to a special smoking area. How many rules did Pamela violate? Why didn't the nurses in the hospital call her out at that time? Really, I can't even accept a man smoking, let alone a woman. Can you understand the discomfort of being forced to smoke secondhand? How can the patients and families in the hospital tolerate such behavior? The fans began to defend Pamela. Pamela is definitely just practicing for filming purposes. She's not really smoking. Please pay more attention to the work she produces. Pamela has been living abroad and isn't familiar with the situation in the country. Please understand. What's wrong with smoking? It's your freedom to smoke as an adult. Does Pamela have to report to you whatever she does? The netizens almost laughed their heads off at the fans' comments. Practicing for filming purposes. Isn't that Donna's ward? Donna has already left the industry, yet she's still practicing. Who are you defending here? She's not familiar with the situation in the country. Why do I feel that she's quite familiar when eating and drinking tea with the directors? Also, adults are free to smoke. But if you know that you're an adult, you should go to a special smoking area to smoke. 
This is what adults should do, right? The violation of rules was not a big problem, and no one would pay attention to it under normal circumstances. Pamela had also always been very careful and had never been photographed. However, she did not expect that this time, with Donna's matter being exposed, it would become even worse. Chapter 1254. Mother was not an easy movie, but its plot touched people's hearts and ignited the public's enthusiasm for watching it. Kinsey's acting skills had long been recognized by everyone. However, this time, her extremely restrained performance stunned everyone again. Her face was completely different from the bright and beautiful Kinsey that everyone knew from every movie. It was a real character made of flesh and blood. She was the embodiment of the character she played. The box office sales of Mother soared and quickly broke through a billion. Profits were guaranteed. And with every box office breakthrough, Kinsey became well-known. With the works she put out, she never had to fear rumors. It was really a blessing to have high-quality works to rely on. Fans could use her achievements to refute the brainless anti-fans and mocking passers-by. It was also possible for them to promote their idol confidently. Her popularity as a celebrity would also increase invisibly. Although there were also some negative comments such as Kinsey's acting skills have deteriorated and are not as good as before, nothing could stop the rising box office sales. Comma. Kinsey booked the entire venue and invited some friends to watch the movie. Ronald was naturally among her guests. When they came out of the cinema, Ronald's eyes were red. Sister Kinsey, your acting skills are really good. The mother is really great. In order to protect her son, she really did something admirable. Kinsey smiled. Thank you. Ronald switched his phone from silent to normal mode. After coming out of the cinema for a while, his WeChat kept ringing with countless messages. His eyes immediately stopped turning red. He replied, no, no, I can't get you an appointment. Is my sister Kinsey's schedule that free? Mr. Ronald, are you trying to get in the way of my work? Let's hear it, then. No matter what, I have to earn money to support my son. Ronald immediately took the phone. How can this be my job? Those people in my gaming team are all clamoring to see you. They've been pestering me for a long time. I'm really impressed. That's good. After all, I'm only someone with the label. If we actually meet, it'll give us away. Ronald sighed. It's a pity that Joshua is still too young to go out and show his face. It'll be fine when he grows up. I really want to take my nephew out to show off. When can my nephew step into public and earn me a good reputation? Kinsey smiled. After he turns 18, Ronald counted with a bitter face. Kinsey had no choice. Children had to be protected. It was not appropriate for them to appear in public too much. Besides, even if she agreed, it would be useless if Ethan didn't agree. Ronald finally responded, you need to earn money to support your son. My brother still needs. Kinsey said righteously, why? Can't I? Yes, yes, of course, you can. Whatever makes you happy. Comma. After the filming of the political movie ended, Kinsey did not receive a more suitable script. She decided to wait and see for the time being, so she only had some activities lined up. Chapter 1255. Usually, she would compare her gaming skills with Joshua and accompany Sam to read some picture books. At night, she would cook some delicious food for the three of them. Their days were carefree and comfortable. When she received Director Phillips' WeChat message, Kinsey sat up from the sofa. I didn't expect Director Philip to be turning 50, she muttered to herself. Director Philip had always treated her as his daughter. The two of them had always been on good terms in private. This time, Director Philip invited her to his birthday party. Seeing that she was free that day, Kinsey agreed without hesitation. When Ethan returned, she asked him if he wanted to go with her. I'd like to go with you, but there's a meeting that day. Ethan smiled. I'll just prepare a gift. That will do. I'll deliver your gift to Director Philip. Ethan asked, will there be many people that day? Not many. Director Philip said he only invited two or three of his best friends and his family. Okay. Ethan didn't say anything. He turned around and went to his room to pick a gift. On Director Philip's birthday, Kinsey wanted to dress up in women's clothes. 
But before leaving, Hazel made a call. Kinsey, be careful these days. There's a lot of paparazzi following you. Where did all these paparazzi come from? Haven't they always been around? It's just that you've filmed a lot of movies recently. The outside world has never gotten a clear idea about your private life. Many people want to record you. I'm afraid it won't stop until all the news about you is dug up. Kinsey couldn't help but open the curtains and look outside. Her neighborhood was well guarded. So far, the paparazzi had not even dug up her residence. However, after getting out of this protective shield that Ethan had carefully built, the situation was indeed not optimistic. With that in mind, she turned to change into men's clothes. Anyway, director Philip had always known that she was frank and was used to her wearing such clothes. It was not a problem for her to meet director Philip and his best friends like this. Moreover, she could avoid trouble. She and director Philip had not worked together recently. What if word got out that there was some scandal between the actress and the director? Kinsey went to director Philip's birthday party. There were indeed no outsiders at the party. They were all familiar people and director Philip's family. Seeing Kinsey's outfit, everyone smiled. The entire banquet was as comfortable as a dinner among family. The atmosphere was very good that night. Kinsey drank a little. When the banquet ended, Ethan called. Where are you? I'll pick you up. Kinsey gave him the address and waited by the roadside. Because she was dressed as a man, she did not deliberately avoid suspicion and stood casually. Soon, Ethan's car came into sight. Kinsey raised her eyebrows and smiled. When the car stopped, she got in. Ethan's expression was calm, but when he smelled the alcohol on her body, he frowned slightly. Have you been drinking? A little. Director Philip was happy, and I was there to celebrate his birthday, so I didn't decline. Ethan reached out and pulled her over. He said in a low voice, your stomach hasn't recovered yet. Don't you know that you can't drink? Kinsey felt that her stomach was already very good, but the psychological trauma left by this matter was too great for Ethan to be at ease. Seeing his serious expression, she begged softly, just this once. I won't do it again. Ethan reached for a bottle of mineral water, opened it, and gave it to her. Chapter 1256 Kinsey reached out to take it, but he was holding the bottle to her mouth. She had no choice but to take two small sips as he held the bottle in his hand. Although she didn't drink much at night, she had a lot of drinks. She really didn't have much desire to drink water. Ethan frowned slightly and approached her with a gentle gaze. Drink a little more. I can't. I really can't drink any more. Just one more mouthful. I can't drink any more. Kinsey felt as though her stomach was filled to the brim. Ethan took back the mineral water bottle unhurriedly and took a sip. Just as Kinsey was about to heave a sigh of relief, the man's breath invaded her nose. His thin lips were soft as he made her drink another mouthful of water. Kinsey grunted. This last mouthful made her want to cry. In the distance, a flash of light recorded the scene in front. Then, Ethan's car drove away. When the phone containing the video was placed on Peter's desk, he angrily pushed the phone to the floor. The phone shattered into pieces. What a bastard. He actually likes men. What did Patricia teach him to lead the Hunt family astray? No matter how much Peter disliked Ethan, he couldn't tolerate his son messing around like this. But in the video, Ethan's appearance was clearly shown. The person he was hugging and kissing was also clearly a man. He really didn't expect his son to do something so perverse. Cyrus sat at the side with a faint smile on his face. Peter could accept that his son had countless women, but he could not accept that he liked men. Especially since he already had a bad impression of that son, it was even harder for him to like him now. Cyrus smiled and said, Dad, isn't this good? Now that we're secretly buying the shares of Hunt Group and roping in the people who support us, how many people will turn against Ethan and how badly will the shares of Hunt Group fall if we release the news of Ethan liking men? Peter's worry turned to joy. You can't blame me for taking back Hunt Group. How can we hand over such a huge family business to such a person? How can we let him destroy the future of the entire family? Contact Nick. We have to act as soon as possible. I've been in contact with Nick, and everything is normal, Cyrus said. 
I'll collect more evidence. Ethan will definitely be abandoned by everyone. Soon, a piece of explosive news hit the public eye. The leader of Hunt Group, Ethan, who had always been mysterious and low-key, had gone on a date with a young hunk late at night. He was on the hot search list and directly occupied the first spot. This trending topic was very eye-catching and quickly attracted the attention of many people. First of all, the words, the head of Hunt Group, were enough to arouse everyone's interest. As one of the largest corporations in Averna, Hunt Group was active in various fields and controlled half of the country's economy. The head of Hunt Group had always been mysterious. Many years ago, after old master Hunt retired, Peter only appeared briefly. After that, the person in charge never appeared in public again. However, the entire group's performance was improving day by day. Their achievements swept through the entire country and even the entire world. Chapter 1257. However, no one knew who the person in charge was. Those who saw the news were shocked. Fuck. The person in charge is so young. Oh my god, what kind of peerless handsome man is this? Although he's only sitting in the car, his profile, the line of his nose, and the perfect curve of his face, what kind of peerless handsome man is this? Is he really not some top actor in the entertainment industry? We need confirmation. Ethan, so this handsome man's name is Ethan. I'm crying. He's such a winner in life. He's already so powerful at such a young age. I'm so impressed. The effect was different from what Peter wanted. The first group of people in the comments were all obsessing over Ethan's looks. And this trend was spreading. I wonder if you still remember Ronald. He's good looking enough, right? How can Ronald's brother not be good looking as well? Ethan, please verify it on Weibo. I beg Hunt Group's official Weibo account to authenticate this handsome man's name. However, after being attacked by his good looks for a while, everyone's attention finally turned to the other word, guy. It was no wonder that everyone didn't pay much attention to this guy at the beginning. It was just that this guy's overall temperament was a little weak. Ethan's aura was tough and proud, and it was especially easy to attract attention. This other guy is also very good looking. I'm also into this little brother. He looks so gentle and cute. The little puppy belongs to the wolf dog. Sigh, what sins have we girls committed? Why don't we get such chances? Please tell me his name. What a beautiful love. Such good looking men belong with each other. I'm crying. This is just like my favorite drama. Look at the way Ethan looks at the little puppy. He's so charming and lustful. I've already imagined an entire book about them. It's so exciting. Please write it for everyone to enjoy. I'll spend a lot of money to subscribe to the imaginative content. Quick, quick, quick. Someone is already writing about this ship. They're called the most beautiful ship. Let's all read the cool novel. For a moment, everyone was just fangirling over the new ship. Peter was furious when he saw these comments. This was far from what he had imagined. Cyrus was already prepared. Brainless people are all like this. They can accept anything. But the bad influence from this news will only get worse. Peter glanced at Hunt Group's shares. They were indeed on the decline. And because of this, those from Hunt Group whom he had roped in and were waiting to make a decision would definitely make a move soon. In the eyes of many of the older generation, this was an immoral thing to do. In particular, they always liked to mix personal feelings with work. They especially liked to use such things to attack others. Peter and Cyrus deliberately dug up dirt on Ethan and finally found this. Their intentions were indeed vicious. However, the people on the internet were enjoying themselves. They did not care about companies, stocks, or style. They only liked to see beautiful people sweetly dating each other. Soon, someone pointed out, as that little brother called Frank. The one who filmed a game advertisement with Kinsey previously. Although he's not very popular, he was also famous for his beauty back then. Chapter 1258. Yes, yes, I testify that it's really him. I've compared the two men in detail. They really are identical. No wonder I haven't seen any new works from Frank. Previously, I thought that he was being suppressed. I didn't expect him to be focused on dating. I totally understand. Who wants to work when they're in such a sweet relationship? I'm so envious. 
I want to have such a sweet relationship too. I'm crying. I was supporting Frank and Kinsey. You guys have really torn my ship apart. To the friend above, come and ship the new couple. When Kinsey woke up early in the morning, she received a WeChat message from Ronald. She rubbed her eyes and opened the message. Ronald's voice sounded, Sister Kinsey, you really didn't expect my brother to have found a new lover last night, did you? Kinsey sat up with a start. Ethan sat up as well. He wrapped his broad shoulders around her and rested his chin on her shoulder. Hearing Ronald's words, he reached for his phone and replied, if it's possible to produce clones, this news might be real. Ha 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 ha, it's really brother. Ronald laughed. You'll know when you see the photos. He immediately sent a few photos. As he knew that the person in the photos was actually Kinsey, he teased her. Ethan opened the photos, and Kinsey looked at them too. Both of them could not help but laugh when they saw the scene that was captured last night. Last night, because Kinsey was wearing men's clothes, she didn't pay as much attention as usual. The paparazzi were really professional. Even though she was dressed as a man in the photos, she was indeed quite compatible with Ethan. She just didn't know what the netizens would say about Ethan. Let me read the comments first. Kinsey snatched the phone from Lou. Ethan and wanted to read the comments first. At the same time, she asked Hazel to quickly suppress the news. As for Hunt Group's public relations, it was very simple. Ethan was an outsider in the industry. Kinsey didn't want him to be criticized. She worked for this industry, so it was fine she was mocked. But Ethan had done something wrong and had to bear the infamy. However, when she clicked on her phone, what did she see? Why were they all talking about the most beautiful couple? What fairy couple? Someone had actually produced a comic for two, one that was not suitable for children to read. The comments were filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. Some were envious of Ethan, while others were envious of Frank. There were also a bunch of people asking for Ethan and Frank's contact details. There were even a small number of men who recommended themselves. How did they have the nerve? When Ethan took the phone from Kinsey, he happened to see the comic. He said calmly, this position is not bad. That's the wrong focus, right? In addition to these, some other information was released. Basically, Ethan really liked Frank. For example, there were Frank's photos and figurines in his office. This was also what Peter had found out from someone in Hunt Group. Speaking of which, the photos and figurines of Frank in Ethan's room were given to him by Kinsey during the lucky draw on Weibo. Seeing this, Kinsey slowly raised her head and looked at Ethan. I have a question. Why do you have Frank's photos and figurines in your office? Chapter 1259. Even if Ethan wanted to put out some photos, he should put photos of her true self. There was no reason for him to pick photos of her as Frank. You delivered them to me yourself. Kinsey. After a moment, she realized. So, you're the lucky audience member I drew the last time. The one whose Weibo account is called Shell001. Ethan nodded. What kind of fate is this? I randomly picked you out of tens of millions of people. Ethan smiled. What kind of fate is this? We went to the Civil Affairs Bureau together out of millions of people. Kinsey threw herself into his arms. I want to ship us too. After being in his arms for a while, she asked, so how do we handle the current situation? I'll take care of it, Ethan said casually. In fact, he was quite satisfied with the fact that the entire internet was talking about him and Kinsey as a couple, even though no one knew that it was Kinsey. There was a very subtle sense of satisfaction. He didn't care what the outside world said. However, Hunt Group had been around for so many years, and there was no lack of stubborn old shareholders who treated this kind of stuff with disdain. They won't be able to stop themselves from nagging at him. Ethan mainly wanted to deal with this group of people. He quickly went to the office. As expected, this matter had already taken root. Those employees who usually didn't dare to talk about Ethan couldn't help but say, I really didn't expect this. No wonder there have never been women around the president. It turns out that he likes men. I really couldn't tell. I heard he's already found a surrogate for a baby. But it's good. The man I can't have doesn't belong to another woman. I'm content. Ha 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 ha, I agree. 
Edwin followed behind Ethan. When he heard these comments, his face immediately darkened. He wondered if Mr. Hunt would lose his temper today because of this. He stole a few glances. Fortunately, Mr. Hunt's emotions were quite stable as if he was not troubled by this matter at all. Thank goodness. Besides, the employees were only discussing it quietly. Moreover, most of them had a kind attitude. The entire company's situation was quite normal. Ethan took the elevator to the top floor. Some senior executives and shareholders were already waiting there. The security guards were maintaining order. They had long seen Mr. Hunt bringing the delivery man to his office. Initially, no one dared to think too much, but now, they couldn't help but size up Mr. Hunt. Why, alas, did quality men always prefer other men? Security guard A instinctively crossed his arms and looked worried. Security guard B said, even if Mr. Hunt likes men, he won't like you and me, right? Security guard A thought that made sense and let go of his hands. On the other hand, the higher-ups and shareholders all had solemn expressions. Their gazes followed Ethan as if he had done something treasonous and said, Mr. Hunt, the impact of this incident is very bad. Actually, women are really quite good. Why do you have to? Ethan stopped in his tracks. This is a company. Can we talk about private matters after work? Mr. Hunt, even if it's a private matter, it's still the business of the entire Hunt group. I'm worried that the entire Hunt group will be destroyed due to your current situation. Chapter 1260. A shareholder said solemnly and earnestly. It was as if Ethan's matter was a sign of Hunt Group's destruction. They couldn't accept this no matter what. Will my private life affect my working state? Did the share price fall? Is the entire company's current situation worrying? Or is this just because you can't stand something and are treating it as a great enemy? Ethan asked. No one spoke for a moment. Of course, there were no bad effects yet. Even the share price had returned to normal after a slight dip. It was hard to say that it had been affected by the incident. Naturally, they were only trying to persuade him because they couldn't accept this matter and thought it was too perverse. Therefore, they felt that it was necessary to get Ethan back on track. But Mr. Hunt, this kind of thing is completely inconsistent with our ancestors' teachings. Besides, it's simply unorthodox and doesn't conform to the mainstream. Even if it's not related for the time being, we'll definitely suffer a backlash later. Ethan snorted coldly. These old shareholders were always like this. When they encountered something, they didn't look at the problem from a fair and objective perspective. Whenever they didn't like something, they would force things to work their way. It was like that at work, and it was also like that in one's personal life. He said, I have my own conclusions on this matter. Edwin issued a statement asking everyone to not pay attention to my private life and pay more attention to the company's development on the company's official Weibo account. Everyone's orientation is worthy of respect. That last part isn't very nice, is it? Said the secretary next to one of the shareholders. There wasn't much for a secretary to do on an occasion like this. He only said that because he was disgusted with men liking men. Ethan looked at him and asked, then what do you think is good? What is there to respect about men liking men? He blurted out. Ethan sneered. I'm also not interested in affairs between men. But I don't think that one's private life and orientation should be discussed and judged by others. I also don't think that others are not worthy of respect and deserve to get their rights and freedom stripped. For the same reason, what you think is arsenic is something that others are willing to accept. Is there a problem, then? The secretary bowed his head at this. Among the other secretaries, there were occasionally one or two who liked people of the same sex. It was just that they had never laid it out on the table. When they heard Ethan criticizing such people, they were really satisfied. The neutrals may not support the cause, but they respected other people's preferences and were very convinced by Ethan's words. Ethan glanced around. Or do you want to eliminate all the things you can't stand? Today, you can't stand men being with men. Tomorrow, you can't stand that the company's development is not as expected. Are you going to overdo it? Everyone bowed their heads. Now even the shareholders were silent. 
Edwin had already quickly gotten the people from the Public Relations Department to log into the official Weibo account and post a statement. Thank you for your concern about the personal affairs of our group's CEO, Mr. Hunt. However, Mr. Hunt is not from the entertainment industry and is unwilling to be involved in scandals. Please pay more attention to the operations of our group and give Mr. Hunt some freedom in his personal life. At the same time, Mr. Hunt wishes to tell everyone that everyone's orientation is worthy of respect. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.